am I? Wait. Wait, where did my little guy go? Where did my guy go? Wait, wait, wait. Where's my guy? <gasps> Look at me! Look at me! I'm a GIF! I'm a GIF team! I'm a GIF tuber! I'm a GIF tuber today. Hello, everyone. Hi! <laughs> I, I only set myself up on one tab, so I, I lost myself and I got nervous. <laughs> um, okay, uh, this is our first edition as a GIF. Let me hear a foot of me! The smallest most efficient predator on the planet is me! Buddy, 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 buddy! <laughs> For tell, thank you! <gasps> Oh, you guys need to get faster on that so I don't die. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I had some webcam related issues. So, funny story actually. I I got management to buy me a second webcam and like a really fancy webcam holder. It's like, hold on, let me, it's still in, still in the bubble wrap and in, in the box of, ah, over here. Let me shake it. Wait, let me get close to my microphone. Let me shake it. Like, management sent me an entire second webcam and, like, a webcam stand. However, however, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's because, um, we just bought the exact same webcam that I, like, already had. So I just have two of the exact same brand because I like it and I know how to use it. So I don't know if that is the issue or if it is some other related issue. Um, but my PC doesn't like having two webcams going at once. Uh, because I need to have a webcam, like, open on Pokemon Live. Like, over here. Shop. I need to have... Oh no! Face reveal! Tachi, no! Oh my god, you're in the camera! Tachi, no! Oh my god, face reveal! So I need to have one camera over here so you guys can... So I can redeem the card codes. But then I also need to have another camera, like, uh, doing my, my face rigging. Um, and it didn't... The, the setup, they didn't like it. It did not like it. <laughs> um, so one issue is that VTube Studio was, like, constantly... So, uh, it's like both of the cameras were constantly fighting for which camera was the main camera, like which camera was in control. Um, and then both VTube Studio and um, Pokemon Live were both fighting over who had control of the main camera. So I would have it set up so that I had my main camera on my face and then I had my second camera on the cards, but then Pokemon Live would like wrestle that camera back and it would swap the cameras around so then the Pokemon Live camera would be on my face. And of course that's a very terrifying thing to have doing like midstream. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna put some sunglasses on, I'm gonna put a baseball hat on, and I'm gonna put a uh, like a COVID mask on. Um, however, when I do that, uh, VTube Studio can't do my face tracking. It can't track my face because I've obscured my face. Um, so there was just like so much back and forth and like trying to get these to work. And I know there's a way to do it. I know there's a way to do it because streamers do this all the time. There is absolutely a way to do it. Um, I just think that VTube Studio and uh, Pokemon Live didn't like each other and they were like fighting over for who had custody of the of the number one car uh, camera. And it was also extra difficult because they're both the exact same brand of camera. So when I click into my like, my connected devices list, um, they're both called the exact same thing. And there's no way to differentiate them. <laughs> so yeah, that was some stuff. Uh, that's on me for not getting set up earlier, but I'm so busy. I'm so sleepy and I'm so busy all of the time. <laughs> Sip you water. Sippy water. Nom, 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 nom. Water. Anyway, hi guys. How how are you guys today? I am a gif. Oh, do you guys want to know who did this gif? Hold on. Let me rah, 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 rah. let me let me shout out my gif artist because this is actually a very cute and funny story. Um, where's my gif artist? Okay, and also now that I know how to access my chat in OBS Studio instead of like tapping out uh into a youtube studio 
Uh, this is the person who drew my gif. It is very, very cute. This is supposed to, like, I, I got this to be for a stream alert, but I figured that having just like a static PNG for like being my avatar for this would be a little bit boring. Um, so I thought this is really cute. And uh, I'm also like sat down. So it kind of looks like I'm just like sat down, hanging out in the corner of the screen. It's really cute. And I got a little business associate with me. I'm squeezing you guys. I'm getting you guys a good squish. I like to think you guys make a squeaky sound. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> Every time I squeeze you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the artist I did my GIF. Uh, this is supposed to be for, like, stream alerts and stuff. And actually, there's a secret. There's a secret variation of this GIF. There's a secret version. But I'm gonna set it up on stream elements so that there's, like, like a 5% chance that the secret version activates. Uh, cause you, you can do that on stream elements. That's really cool. I didn't know that. You can, you can set up like your normal er alerts and your sound effects and what GIF plays and all that kind of stuff. And you can also set up variables so that there's like a, um, there, there, there are like variations of what the alert can be. So you can have like uh, a good, like equal mix that like happen and then you can also have like a really secret one. So I'm going to set the secret variation of uh, this gift to be like like a 5% chance thing, so I think it'd be really funny. Yeah, you guys have to gotcha for your alerts. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sick and twisted and evil. I'm making you guys do gotcha. <laughs> I mean, that'd be really cute. I know, um, I think Stella has something really similar to set up with her alerts. I think I think her alerts are like um they're they're like a casino wheel, I think, and you can like win 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 and lose on it, which is really cute. I want to go try it out once I have enough money to gamble. No, we're not gambling. We do not. We that's illegal in my country, I think, to promote gambling. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know. Does Catcher fall under gambling? I f it has to, right? I mean, buying extension Pokemon cards fall under gambling, also. You know, I don't hate being a gift tuber because I can like I can close my eyes and rest my head on my hand and talk with my eyes closed. I'm very tired. I am so tired. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. I I'm letting you guys know ahead of time. There's gonna be no stream tomorrow because I'm gonna sleep for the entire day. I'm gonna hibernate. So yeah, I'm, I'm sad here with my head on my hand and my eyes closed because I'm so very EP. <laughs> gotcha is gambling in EU and it's starting to in Korea. Interesting. I mean, I mean, it makes sense. It really does. Because it is just with like a very cute coat of paint on it. Are we going to do high? Oh my god, yeah. Do you guys want to do high and lows? Mm -mm, let me take some water. Okay, hi Zen, hellos. Hello, bucket type. Hi, dog. Hi, MT MTYTCO. Hello, Foodie Fever. Hello, Adorian Seeker. Hello, Scrap Stuff. Hello, Scarlet Fever. Hello, Pablo Cerna. Hello, Neo, Neo Chimera. Hello, Zolus. Hello, Wild Blue. Hello, Stray Hellhound. Hold on one second. I need to put something to Google Translate. What? What just happened? There we go. Pride Penguin. Hello, Penguin! Uh, hello, Pokey! Hello, Hiroli! Hello, BXTZ! Hello, Vual! Hello- Oh my god! XWERZ! XWERZ! Hi! I saw that the art that you guys put- that you put on Twitter- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You guys have been putting- st Oh my god, you guys put so much cute art on Twitter! My god! Where is it? Look at this really cute art that uh, the ex he put on Twitter. Look at this. Look. Look at it. It's so cute. Urgh! Oh my god, I want to eat it. I want to put it in my mouth. I want to print it out on a piece of paper just so I can eat it. It's so cute. Thank you so much, ex it, It's so cute. It's so good. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, who else? Hello, uh, Balangon. Hello, Chaos H. Hello, Nathan Burrett. Hello, Rukami. Hello, Food and Ma'am. Hello, Meme Squid. Hello, Joker. Hello, Hero Lee. Hello, I'm trying my best not to like overlap. Hello, Lord Peace. Hello, Carlos Ortega Zavala. Hello, Chris Taylor. Hello, Leo says bleh. Hello, Laza Lion. Hello, Sentai King. Hello, 16 E's. Hello, Joseph R R R R DC. Hello, Four Scoops. Hello, Scribble. Hello, Mighty Rex. Hello, Berries. I love your new profile picture. Hello, Tom Williams. Hello. I 
think I already said Zolus, but hello Zolus again. And I think, I think that's everyone. I feel bad if I miss a person. I feel bad if I miss a person. Hello Ryu Vanguard, hello Tubnub, hello Bugzer, hello Ernie, hello Dark Minivan. Dark Minivan, Dark Miavism. Hello Tidy Fox, hello T, uh, hello T.I. Tiago, Arujo, Medarios, hello Valis Nivis, hello White Wolf 92, hello Tapsy, hello you did it in, hello Mr. Mr. Four. Um, I okay, I think that was everyone now. Wait, no, hello Kakeru Katsuragi VT, hi. Okay, hello Jusagi! Oh my god, hi Jusagi! Hi, hello Anonymous T Tanuki! Oh my god, hi J <laughs> Hi Jusagi. Jusagi is the person who animated this. Jusagi animated this, and it's really cool. Look at it. Look at my eyes moving as I read BL. Look at Tachi's little snot bubble. It's so cute. It's very, very cute. Thank you. Hello, N Maniac. Hello, Oria. There's so many people. Hi. You guys excited to watch me do play go uh, Dopamine Simulator the the entire the entire day? <laughs> so there is like um. So there is we we could play the video game. Like, I don't want to play... Am I in rank? No, I want to play casual. We could play the mini game. I This is like a brand new account. I made this like 30 minutes before stream. So... No! I don't have... Oh, I don't have my Reggie Lucky Maridon deck that just absolutely destroys everyone. Um, So we, we could play a little bit if we wanted to. But... Uh, we could do like battle pass. I mean, it's really not hard to like move our way up the battle pass and do some stuff But this is like more more long term. I have just seen customizable items. So I would like the I would like the Raikou trip I am a big Raikou fan Um, but yeah, we could play a little bit if we wanted to um, but the main reason that we're here is for Dopamine is why we're here for a challenge, you can only play with the codes. I mean, the, this is a fresh account, so the only the only codes that I have are these codes. Anyway, so I have I have decided I have taken the executive decision that we're only gonna do half of the cards today because uh, I went to go hang out with my mom today, and she was like, "Have you have you are you aware of how how much three hundred is?" And I'm like, no. And she's like, that is, that's a lot. That's a lot. So we're only gonna be doing half today. The rest is in my bedroom and I can't be bothered to go get them because I I wanted to post a video on Twitter before today's stream that was like a video tour of my entire like Pokemon card collection. Um, but you can only post videos on Twitter that are like two minutes and 20 seconds long. And the video ended up being about like nine minutes long. Uh, so I needed to cut it down a lot, and I- this is like one of the first times that I've sat down today. <laughs> so I didn't have time. Um, I hope to maybe do that in the future. Do you have an- yeah, an office and a bedroom. Yeah, I have my bedroom that has my bed in it. Um, and all of my junk, all of my trash. And then when I say office, this this used to be a closet that so my grandparents were hoarders. And when I moved in with them, I was like, hey, can I have the can can I have the closet room as an office if I get rid of all of the hoarded items in in your house? And they're like, yeah, sure. So that like all of the code, like the computery stuff is in here, including the printer. So if you ever hear printer sounds going off in the background. That just means that my grandma needs to print something off and it is happening behind us. <laughs> There's some funny stuff in this room. Actually, maybe we'll do a room tour one day. Um, my mom's wedding dress is in here because she doesn't have enough room to store it. So that's in here. Um, there's like a bunch of like old fabric and sewing stuff. Oh, my sea monkey box in, is in here. I have like a giant box of sea monkey stuff like ready to set up for the summer. Uh, would you like codes? I never use them. Yeah, if you guys have any codes that you would like to send to me, you can send them to my email. And I'll, hold on, let me type in it. it, it hands for free. Oh, this is awesome. I have to go to YouTube Studio to type anymore. This is so cool. You guys can, you guys can email your code cards to me here and I can redeem them on stream. I have had a couple of people emailing me. So thank you for that. Uh, I won't 
you guys keep sending me emails with your like your real legal names and that makes me nervous so i won't read them out but thank you for everyone who has emailed me their code cards so far i do appreciate it uh we have a fat stack today so we'll do these and then once we do these we'll do the ones that people have emailed and then also because i am aware that um this might get like a little bit boring I'm not sure. It might get a little bit boring, but just in case it does, I have marshmallows. We can answer marshmallows. I had I had a setup where it was gonna be like marshmallows, and I was gonna put like I was gonna put my hands on top of it, of it again, all cute, and then my model was gonna be behind there. Um, but then I I I did a boo boo. I did a boo boo. I didn't check the the micro the the. Pardon me. No burps. Um, I didn't check that my cameras were compatible, so I guess we just- This is- I- Oh, I'm so mad at myself! Like, that would've been such a cute setup! Are you insane? That would've been so cute! So I don't know where Maros will live now. I guess Maros will live down here, and then we go through them. I- How many Maros do I have? Wait. We have 30 Maros today! I think this is, like, more Maros than the actual Maro stream, but that does make sense, because... I kind of forgot about Maros until the last 30 minutes we had to speed run them. So I hope that we guys can, that we can like talk more, I guess, on these ones. Gacha card dopamine could be boring. A little bit, ugh. I don't know, I don't know. It, it's gonna be repetitive because obviously we're gonna get a lot of hits because there are some really good cards in here. There are some seriously good cards in here. Um. There's like Crown Zenith, which is loaded. There's 151. There's Paldea Fates. There's these are these are good ass cards, and I'm very excited. I'm trying not to show you guys the codes because you can see them. You weren't kidding. Got a bunch of cards. This is only half because my mom pointed out how long this would take me. Actually, in reality, <laughs> is your monitor curved? Yeah, my monitor is slightly curved, and it's actually a really weird size. So that when I when I max out a game on full screen, um, it's not like 1920 by 1080. It's like a, a really weird number. So I have to adjust all my game sizes manually so that they fit on uh, OBS. Do codes expire? Um, yeah, they do expire, but they expire after like like 15 years or like 10 years or something. Um, so if you have anything like the, the, the past 10 years, I think you'll be fine. But if you've had them for 11 years, you might be out of luck. Um, you can test them out. Anyway, I would like definitely encourage people if they, if they, if you guys have, if you guys like Pokemon cards for the fact that they are shiny and pretty, I would really recommend that you guys try out, uh, Pokemon Live because they have made this game so, uh, accessible. Uh, they've made this game so accessible and so easy to learn um and like i i really struggle to learn new things i find kind of to be like relatively complicated but this is so easy to learn like super 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 easy to learn uh so if you guys are interested but you've always found the game like kind of difficult and doesn't really make sense I'd, I'd really recommend the online so if you guys want to keep the code cards to try the game out for yourself i'd like super recommend it to you can we send you our codes if you never plan on using them? Yeah, absolutely. You guys can email them to me at... I'm just going to copy and paste my message again because I'm lazy. Paste. Yeah. The game's also free. That's true. Yeah, if you guys have any code cards you want to send them to me, you can send them to me at foodie.vreverie at gmail.com. Uh, and if you, can't, if you can't spell words that people have spoken out to you... Um, it is in the chat. Maybe pin it. Good idea. Good idea, dog. Good idea, Jake the dog. And then, okay. Uh, pin message. Can we fight in trading card? Oh, maybe. If we, I don't know. If we have time at the end of the stream, I think that would be quite funny. Um, I worry about the matches taking too long. Uh, well, we, we, we will see scrap. If... If we end, the, if we do, if we've redeemed all the code cards and 
I still feel like we could go for another hour or so. We'll definitely do some battles. Um, but I feel like we might take a while. Uh, and I did not sleep last night, like, at all. And I really want to go to bed. So, I'm not too keen on the idea of the stream, like, being, like, a six-hour stream. Um, and I think it'd also be kind of fun for, like, fighting viewers in, uh, Pokemon Live to be, like, its own stream. Um, but I don't want to make, uh, streaming TCG too much of a regular thing because I want to be able to respect, uh, Nova Senpai and how she streams, like, mostly card games. She streams, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, all that kind of stuff. And I want to be able to respect that that is, like, her, her monopoly. Um, and I think it would be kind of rude for someone also inside of the company to start doing that as, like, a, like a, a very frequent thing. Um, so we'll definitely, we'll do it one day, but don't expect it to be, like, a very regular thing. She doesn't play Pokemon. That's, that is true, but it is still card games, and I still want to be, like, really respectful of Nova. She has given me permission to stream this today, um, but I do, I do want to respect it because I love her, and she's very attractive to me. Uh, 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 uh. Um, okay, so... I guess we got straight into it. So the way this works, if you guys haven't used the online game before, is we can scan in a code like, like this. We scan in a code like that. And then we can scan in like 10 at a time, I think. Let me, let me do the, the makeup influencer focus. Hold on. Focus. Focus. Yeah, put your glasses on camera. I I taped my I taped the camera onto the table because I was really worried about it falling over. Um and it seems like I have also taped down the part of it that um that spins to focus. <laughs> so, uh yeah, I had to break the tape for a second there. Yeah, so I have a lot of I have a lot of count, uh, cards they're a really mixed bag. A lot of these are Crown Zenith and 151, I think. Um, but there's like a couple randoms in there, like Obsidian Flames and some Whole Forces and... Yeah. You can scan really fast, yeah. So we do them at a like, 10 at a time. And then... And then... And then, and then we get to do gotcha. There's supposed to be sound effects. I just forgot to activate them. Okay, let let the let it begin. Let the dopamine begin. Okay, these are promo. Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got Wiglet. We got Mawile. We got Explorer's Guidance. I'm excited to find out what these like new uh, card sets because I haven't been keeping up with the like what the meta is currently. Uh, Hood it, Fluttermane Ancient. I have only gotten ancient cards in packs. I haven't gotten a single like future paradox Pokemon. I don't know if they're making them yet. They do because I've seen like the promo Iron Valley. Hi Stella, it's a Stella star falls straight from the maternal crevice. Hi Stella, my mom, my mom was talking about you today. I went to go see my mom. And my mom was saying, yeah, oh, that pitch, uh, P pitch, yeah, EX, uh, alternate art, let's go. First dub of the day. Can you guys even see this? It's so small for you guys. I'm sorry. It's so low quality. Yo, uh, we got Pidgeot, Charizard deck, please. I would rather die than play Charizard, I'm sorry. Uh, I talked to my mom today, Estella, and she was like, yeah, I've been watching everyone's streams. Oh, we do have feature cards. Uh, and I was like watching back the VOD where you guys all did a quiz show. Oh my God, I love Incineroar. I love parting shot and doing nothing else. Uh, and she was like, yeah, I, wa I watched the, the quiz show stream. Um, what does it mean when Ariel kept calling Estella a bottom? Like, what did that mean? And I was like, oh, mother, mother, my my lovely, lovely birth gither. Char oh my God, I hate Char, get him out of here. Get him out of here. I do not care, I simply do not care for Charizard. He's fine. He's fine, I'm just not, like, invested in him mentally. Like, he's he looked really cool in Pokken Tournament, I'll say that much. He looked really cool in Pokken Tournament. Okay, we got our first big pull. Oh, this is good. I would be, I'd be happy with this. I'd be happy with this. I would just be so happy with this. Uh, we also got the Incineroar, Incineroar EX. Yeah, I haven't seen this card before. Let me read it. 
Uh, okay. Attacks used by this Pokemon cost one energy less for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Blaze Blast. Opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and there's no recoil on it. There's no recall and there's no, like, pullback period. That is nice. That is so nice. And what about you? Uh, God, I don't even care. Really, really, I don't even care. I just don't. I just do not care, for real. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you guys might have seen on Twitter earlier, but I want to post the image again. I I feel like this should have been the first thing that I mentioned, but I'm still so awestruck over the fact that this happened that I, I don't know how to talk about it. Hold on, let me save it to my computer for my phone. So, I went over to my mom's today. I went over to my mom's. Um... And I've been, I've been really, really busy this past week because it's been debut week and we've had like some family issues popping up and like no one's really had time to just like sit and hang out with each other. We've been really busy. So I went over to my mom's today and can you imagine my utter shock and surprise when I walk into the living, not the, I walk into the dining room and my entire family is sat around the dining room table. Their arms are crossed. They're all wearing orange ties and sunglasses my mom has an earpiece in her ear from work and they're sat around the, the dining room table and they look at me and they're like you're late for the business meeting are you kidding me what huh huh what <laughs> and they even got me a green tie and my mom was like yeah i wanted to paint like white stripes on it but i didn't have enough time and even even more so, even added detail to this, is apparently they have had these ties since Wednesday. They've had these ties for like five, four days. They've had these ties since Wednesday. Um, meaning that... <laughs> so they were saying that they, they've been waiting for me to like come over. And they've been hiding the ties and sunglasses in like really random places. And they've been keeping an eye out so if they see me like coming over to the house or they get like a notification on like Life360 that I'm nearby, that they can like all scramble together and put the ties and the sunglasses on. Um, but I've just been really, really busy. And the only time that I had the time to go over this week is like a couple of nights ago. Not last night, I think. I think it was the night before. I went over to go pick up some mail like at 11, 11 p.m. at night. Uh, I ordered like a new capture card because I, I lost my previous one. Um, so I went over to go pick my mail at like 11 p.m. So everyone was in bed and apparently they'd planned to do it then, but they didn't want to do it without my little siblings who were asleep. So they've been holding on to this. They've been plotting this since Wednesday and only just got a chance to do it today. It was really, really funny. Um, I think me being so sleep deprived also made it uh, just that additionally funnier. <laughs> Apparently they've, they've had these on. There's like a couple of stains on the orange ties. If you like zoom in, I don't know if I if I can make the image bigger. Um, and because they've been wearing, they've been eating their dinner wearing these ties for the last few days, just like in expectation on if I like if I pop in really randomly. So some of the ties have like spaghetti stains and stuff on them because they've just been wearing them every day since Wednesday, just waiting for the moment that I like come over. Um, so yeah, that is hilarious. That is so funny. My mom is really excited. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, you can talk about this on stream tonight. You can, you can like take a photo and put it on stream. And I'm like, okay, yes, mom, I will. <laughs> it's serious dedication. It really is. Commit. I was so surprised. I would, yeah. Deploy the meme. She said that she really wanted to get like dog ties as well, but they were really expensive and she didn't want to have to like paint the tie the right color. <laughs> Cute, I know, and so yeah, I need to, I need to get back of them for for this somehow. I don't know how. Uh, yeah, so I now own, I now own a green tie and four orange ties, and I have no idea what to do with them. Uh, uh, ten thousand subs. Uh, I will give away four orange ties with spaghetti stains on them that my family wore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have the green tie. I really like the idea that my mom had of like painting claw marks on them. So maybe if I, I ever go out in the public, I go out into the outer net, into the wild. I can wear a sneaky, sneaky tie and only people who know will know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm still, I'm still in, in awe, honestly. I did not expect, I mean, who, you, you can't predict this kind of thing. 
Yeah, I guess you guys know where I get it from now. My family is very committed to the bit. Um, one time my family, no, mm, yeah, my family went on vacation uh, and I was left behind to babysit the dogs. <laughs> um, and for like a couple of months in like the buildup to them going on vacation, um, they, I had been pranking my mom by doodling horses in her notebooks. Because she leaves, like, a lot of notebooks around, um, because she, she works from home and she has to manage, like, a lot of different things at her job. She, she, she always has, like, a notebook or a to-do list, like, just left around randomly in the house. Um, so for a couple of months prior to her going on vacation, I had been, like, doodling horses in her notebooks or, like, writing nay. And then whenever she would confront me about it, I'd be like, what? I didn't do that. You did that. Do you not remember doing that? I remember you writing that down and making horse noises as you did it. And it was kind of like a running joke for a while. Um, and then my family all went on vacation. So I went to Amazon. I bought a latex, latex horse head mask. I bought a giant tub of like a hundred mini plastic horse figurines. And then I bought these like balloons that had horses on them. I still have some of the balloons inflated. I don't know how they've managed to live this long. Um, so then while she was on vacation, I filled her room with the horse balloons and then I hid all of the tiny horses around her house. She still finds them to this day because I've hid them in, in things like the, like the Christmas tree box and stuff like that, like really obscure places. Uh, she thinks she's found them all, but I do believe there are three that she hasn't found yet. Uh, so this, uh, this was maybe like her revenge for the horse uh, scenario. Whenever I mention horses around her now, she gets, oh yeah, that's another thing. Whenever she'd leave like her phone unattended or her laptop unattended, I'd go to Google and I would type in horse pictures and I would just like leave her screen idling on pictures of horses. So whenever I mention horses now or I see horses, she, she, she gives me a dirty look. She's like, stop it. Stop talking about horses. The horse scenario, the horse event, the horse arc. Yeah, we're very, we're very committed to the bit here. We're very committed to the bit. When I was in high school, um, I semi-sarcastically told my friends that my family were pastafarian, which is a religious faith dedicated to pasta and the spaghetti monster. Um, and, uh, the, the religious headwear of the Pastafarians is wearing, like, a spaghetti strainer on your head. So I had, like, joked with my friends in school that my family was Pastafarian. Um, that's, like, a little, a little, uh, hee hee ha ha. Um, and so I told my mom about that running joke. And then when my friends came over for a sleepover, uh, she called us all downstairs to do Pastafarian prayer time. And we, she bought like spaghetti strainers for everyone to wear on their heads as a commit, commit to the bit. Yeah, flying spaghetti monster, that guy. Uh, yeah, so we're very, we, in this house, in the Ferntail household, we are very, very committed to the bit. We're very committed to the bit. <laughs> That you guys are, you remember I was talking yesterday about how when you see streamers streaming with their their parents or their mothers, uh, you see exactly where they get it from. I hope you guys I hope you guys see where I get this from now. Get get a pony. You know what? I think I could do that relatively easily. Uh, living in a field in the middle of nowhere, uh, I could absolutely do that. But I would need to find out where to put the pony. I don't know where I would put it. I would also need her to leave the house for enough time for me to arrange a pony to be dropped off and then have her be back so she can see the pony. I don't know. I have to... I would have to... I feel like doing a pony would require a lot of planning. I'd have to think about it. Maybe for her birthday. Maybe for her birthday I can get her a pony, but like only for three hours. There's probably a rent a pony. There, uh, there has to be. There absolutely has to be like a rent a pony because I know you can like rent an alpaca for birthday parties. Um, so yeah, I'll try. I'll try and rent a pony. Hold on, I'm getting. Oh, gotta take my sweater off. Oh, 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 oh. It's so hot here. Also, probably because I'm wearing gloves, so that's making me warmer. Oh my god, hi sugar! You can do a little, like, a My Little Pony themed birthday party. Um, I had, like, considered the fact of doing a Sonic the Hedgehog themed party, uh, birthday party for her once. Um, cause Sonic the Hedgehog is, like, her favorite video game. Um, 
yeah, so she like really likes Sonic the Hedgehog. She was like a big Sega kid when she was younger. Um, so I really wanted to throw her like a surprise birthday party that was like Sonic themed and it had like a Sonic cake and a so like a Sonic cake topper and balloons and stuff. Uh, but I didn't go through with it. I, I maybe I'll keep that in the back pocket for her next birthday though. I think that would be really funny. Uh, please subscribe to me so I can make lots of money so I can get my mom a custom Sonic the Hedgehog birthday cake. Um, and I would want it, I wouldn't want it to be like a tasteful Sonic the Hedgehog cake. I would want it to be a Sonic the Hedgehog cake that is catered to like a five-year-old. Like, ha like ha happy fifth birthday, fruity mom. And it's got like Sonic and Tails and Shadow. I think Shadow is her favorite character, so we, we would have to have Shadow on there. The Fugi, yeah, it's so cute. Oh my god, I love it so much. Make it Sonic. I don't think she would understand the Sonic meme though. That's the thing. She likes Sonic, but she doesn't really know much about like the internet jokes. So I don't think she would like fully appreciate a Sonic cake to the extreme. Now she knows she's definitely watching. I don't think she's gonna watch this one because she said that she wasn't really interested in like Pokemon cards and stuff. Um, she did say she's watched. She said that she's watched. I think everything apart from like the Pokemon Cry stream. I think she she's like more busy watching the other girls now. I think she's telling me that she is like watching like their vods and stuff. Um, but she says she gets bored when I'm not in them. So let's go, uh, my biggest number one fan. <laughs> She also had to, she asked to ask me a couple of other questions today. Um, I think I told you guys that she asked me what a bottom was. She also asked me, what does based mean? She was like, people keep saying that you're based. What does based mean? And I had to explain that for her. And she was like, oh, so I can call you based? I was like, man, I guess if you want. <laughs> Don't make a habit out of it though, please. <laughs> yeah. My mom's cool. My mom's cooler than all of you guys' moms. 10 out of 10. Base mom! Base mom! Yeah, I'll tell her that- I'll tell her that you guys think that she's a base mom. <laughs> Imagine becoming a VTuber, your mom makes your genmate her Oshi. She really likes, uh, Stella. I think Stella is her favorite. Um, she said that Stella is her favorite because her laugh is funny and her voice is cute. Uh, but she also said that Scarlet has the, like, the sexiest voice. Which was a whiplash comment to hear your mother make about your colleague. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I really like Scarlet because her voice is very sexy and sultry. And I'm like, okay! Like oh! Oh! I did You're lucky that I'm looking at my screen. Why didn't I get an alert for that? Neo, thank you! Oh my god, thank you for the 10 buckaroonies straight into the cake fun pot. Thank you. Hold on, why? Did you guys hear that? And Or am I the only one who didn't hear it? Advanced audio properties, alerts, monitor, monitor and output. Okay, I think that means I can hear them now. Your mom has good taste. She does, she does. You guys heard it. Okay, you guys didn't hear it, but I heard it. No, wait, you guys didn't hear it. You guys heard it, but I didn't hear it. I think that's because I had it set to monitor off. I've set it to monitor and output now. I should be able to hear them. Luckily, I was looking at OBS though. Good timing. Thank you for... Thank you for ten dollars. Clap 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 clap. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. <laughs> my mom named me after an X Men character. I was about to respond with what my mom named me after, but that would be uh, illegal and it gets my contract, so I can't do it. <laughs> I'm so I'm bad at the streaming thing. Uh, okay, we're we supposed to answer like marshmallows and stuff and do cards at the same time. Uh, I love the wild hair. How much effort do you put into it to get the wild look? Uh, none. I put zero effort into my hair. I love waking up and then going outside. I love never brushing my hair a day in my life. And I love when birds make little nests in there because it's so scraggly and scr sh all over the place. It's, wow, it's very spiky. I like, I like hair that has like defined shapes to it, I think. I think it's really pretty when people have like really like beautiful, long, majestic hair. But I find it really difficult for me to like draw that kind of stuff. I, I like when people just have like shapes in their hair. I like shaped. Uh, thoughts on Miitopia the Switch game? I have never played Miitopia, um, but I have heard like only good things about Miitopia. That's a lie. I downloaded the demo that allowed you to like make Miitopia and stuff, like make me characters on there. And I thought it was really fun because they have like a pretty good system for like character customization that still sticks to like the me aesthetic. Radius the Brown, he is, he, oh my god, my coin. I love, oh my god, I got, I, I, I got the premium collection for Christmas and I was really happy with it. Thank you, mom. Yeah, I like Radagast the Brown. He is, uh, he's my idol. I'd like to be like him when I'm grown up. Uh, we got, we got Mewtwo. 
And we got the lenticular mew. That was so beautiful. Look at this. Oh. And then we got... Oh. It's the... Oh, the, the other mew card is like a... Like a metal card. Crown Zenith. Crown... For me, Crown Zenith has always treated me really well. I've gotten like most of my best pulls from Crown Zenith. So I'm excited to see how well that transfers over to digital. Um... I have a theory that the pulls in the online game are better because it's digital and that means no one can steal the pulls off the conveyor belt. <laughs> you know, I remember that drama where they go like they busted an illegal operation ring that was like stealing the like the hit cards off the conveyor belt. That was crazy. I got my brother a preview one for his birthday. He was so of course he was so happy. That's like the best gift anyone ever received any anywhere. Anywhere. Um, but yeah, I've never played Metopia through as the, like, the actual game, but I really enjoyed the demo where you could, like, customize a character. I think the customization- Oh my god! I have this card! I have this card IRL. It's so pretty. Um, I really liked their customization mechanic. It was really, really detailed, and you could make so much on it. Um, but it really stuck with, the, like, the, like, the me uh aesthetic and like design principles i thought it was really nice i did enjoy like the demo but i never played the game game maybe i'll download the demo again just so i can make myself on the character customizes cus cus customizator and never do anything else <laughs> let's go best of queen i this is that was obsidian flames i think i haven't i haven't even had the time today to, to look at obsidian flames honestly i think it's because it has like charizard on the front so i just i just don't care Whenever I see Charizard, my brain just shuts off. I go to sleep. <laughs> uh, have you ever played in any notable Pokemon tournaments? Um, I haven't, no. Because I live kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, we don't really have any kind of tournament, like, tournament stuff near us. I would really like to, but then I think I would also be really uh, like worried that I would get beaten up by sweats because they are much better at the game than me. Um, I haven't played in any online tournaments. Um, I ha I used to be part of like a Facebook group back back in like X and Y days. Like back in the X and Y days, I used to be a part of a Facebook group um, where it was like a, a PvP based uh, like online uh, Facebook group, and you could compete with each other to be like an admin of the group and the admins of the groups were gym leaders and they like the, the the owner of the group would give them like obviously hacked but like really really juiced up teams and other people would have to like battle their way through the facebook group to get to us as the admins um i was the seal type gym leader uh so i i get it does that count because people had to battle me as the, uh, the steel type gym leader i didn't get to choose what gym leader i was i wanted to be the electric type gym leader or the grass type gym leader um but i got assigned steel type but i still have those pokemon on my pokemon home i have like a like a like a box full because they didn't just give us a team they gave us like a box full so we could switch the pokemon up um of like completely legitimate like juiced steel type shiny pokemon with like perfect ivs and competitive movesets however uh when i say competitive movesets it was like competitive for x and y era so that's like like over 10 years ago i guess so i'm sure the competitive meta has changed now and they're probably not the best but it would be f fun i think to take some time and put this pokemon into scarlet and violet and see how good i can get them um, I remember the Skarmory. Skarmory and Metagross, I think, were the aces of the team. I think... I remember Skarmory being the MVP, but I can't remember what was run on the Skarmory for the life of me. Oh, yeah, that was definitely a Mega... Yeah, yeah, you're right. That was definitely... Oh, yeah, there was Steelix and Mega Mawile. You are correct. I have to go through my Pokemon home and... Ah! Oh my god, Samurott V. I love this card. I want this card in person because I love Samurott because it's a sea line. It reminds me of Stella. Stella. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. Uh, we've about uh, Buck, uh, Kikuna. Oh my god, the pulls on the online are so much better. Oh, I want all of the gold cards in person, but they're so expensive. And Moltres, whatever. Whatever. I don't even care. Uh, Poly World, Energy Sticker, Geodude, Vulpix, Golem EX Mid. I mean, it's really hard to beat a gold card. I'll take the Hollow Energies. I think it would be really, really cool if uh, if I do like in card Pokemon tournaments. You guys, I I have the video of my card tour in my Google Drive. 
I didn't post it yet because it didn't fit on Twitter. It's nine minutes long. We could watch that if you guys wanted to for me to show you my card collection. Um, but I would, I, I want to do the video better. I think I could have done the video better. So I might do that tomorrow because I'm not streaming tomorrow. So I have time to maybe put something together. I don't know. I, uh, I have so much to do. Um, how about YouTube shorts? Uh, I don't think we're going to be posting YouTube shorts. I am not too sure. Something, 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 channel health, something, something. Show us your bulk. I think I already posted my bulk box in the Discord server. I just went to a card store and I was like, hey, do you guys have any, any leftover bulk boxes that I can take home with me? And they're like, yeah, here, have a bunch. Show us, I'll, I'll, oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Ask me again at the end of the stream and maybe I will, but I think I want to re-record the video and then edit it because... I don't know, I think that would just be higher quality. Maybe, maybe the stream watchers, you guys can get like a, like a, an early release work in progress version of it. Mewtwo, I still haven't got this card for my master set. I really want to finish my 151 master set. Uh, I just can't find the packs anywhere. No one sells them anymore and they're always sold out on like Amazon. And like no one carries them. If I want to buy, I want to buy like, um... Yeah, so, so yeah, you can't just buy the packets anymore. You have to buy like the poster packet or the binder packet. And they're so expensive because they include like the binder and everything and the promo cards. But I don't want the binder or the promo cards. I just want the packs. And I have to get all this extra junk that just gouges the price up. I don't need another poster. I already have like two of these posters on my wall. I don't need another binder. I already have the binder. Ruff, 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 ruff. Uh, yeah, please don't make me your 151 Pokemon card packets. I might like... I think at this point, it would honestly be easier to just buy, like, an entire booster po box from Japan than trying to find, like, single packets. I might do that. I don't know. Should I do that with my first paycheck? That'd be funny. No, I should I should do I should do important things with my first paycheck, like groceries. <laughs> I wish I sell my e-reader Johto cards. Oh, my God. I would devour you for your e-reader cards. Please. I'll show you guys the video later. I have, like, an entire spread dedicated to Johto, and I, I want to have more... Question, how many Pokemon cards do you think you have in total? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I have I have a bulk box. So however many cards can fit in like a card store bulk box, I have a full one of those. Um, I have a in progress master set of 151 and then i have a full semi master set of scarlet and violet a base set um i have every shaman card that has ever been printed uh, i'm working on getting them in every language but i'm not quite there yet um and then i have like a i have the arceus v star binder that is halfway full of like all my really really good hits um so I don't know how much that is. I I don't know. I have no idea. Should I Google how much cards fit in a bulk box? How many Pokemon cards fit in a bulk box? Huh. Okay, is this the exact same brand? This is the same brand of box and they can fit 3,800 cards. So, I have at the very least in my bulk box alone, 3,800 cards. And then that doesn't account for the 151 master set, the scarlet and violet base set, the hit binder and the shaman binder. And it also does not count towards, uh, like the decks that I have for playing and I have I think I have like six playing decks I have I have the Yokohama Lugia I have Maridon and Reki Lucky I have my Ampharos deck I have Shen Pao and I have uh, I got rid of my Lycan Rock deck that has been dissolved uh, Tinkaton that's it Tinkaton um so yeah combine all that together in some like vague number estimate and that's how many I have. It's a lot. I like I like cardboard and plastic. Very delicious. Very shiny. Oh my god! I wish I had this card in real life. I see. I did not expect to have the. I I should have expected this effect to happen. Of uh, this just wanting to make me buy more cards. 
I wish I had these cards in person. Where's that Ivy Soar? Where's that Ivy Whore? There, okay, there's the gold card. That is beautiful. I do love how they put like sparkly gold effects on stuff in the online. That's really, really nice. Um, that's really nice. This Samurott is beautiful. I love these painter-esque cards. I really do love it. Uh, I would love that in like a frame. This, I like this. I have, um, so there's like a, a, a full set, I think, of like, or like there's a couple Electrovire and Magma, uh, Magma, Magmortar cards. Um, I have one. I have one of the sets. It's cute seeing the counterpart here. Uh, the Mew card, but this is like a, this is like a promo card thingy, not a gotcha, so I kind of knew. But it's such a pretty card in person. It's really nice. It's like semi-lenticular. When I, when I first heard people calling it a lenticular card, I was really excited, but it's not as lenticular I would have, as I would have liked it to be. It could have been more ticular. And we got Mew to, honestly, mid card, mid card. Could have been better. Vespa Queen EX, no emotions. I actually kind of really like Vespa Queen as a Pokemon. Um, it was my ace when I played through X and Y for the first time. Golem EX, I, I hate that these are like the rare equivalent of the cars. It's just a 3D render. It's not interesting. Ah, oh, I love this one. Oh my God. I want to get this card so bad in person. Finishing the master set uh, for 151 is going to be such a pain in the booty hole, but I'm excited to do it because I don't know. That becomes like a family heirloom at that point, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it when I'm done. Look at it a lot, I guess, I suppose. More cards. And next question. The Minecraft stream had me smiling the entire time. Great stream, thank you. I was really, so I believe this is in reference to the, um, the Minecraft uh, Crossing the Void event. Um, and I, I, yeah, cause I remember getting this the after that stream. Um, and I'm, I'm really, I was really glad to receive this because I was really worried about the uh, that event stream. I felt like I wasn't really performing at my best. Um, and there was like a couple of pieces of uh, scuff that happened. So I was really, really nervous about the quality of that stream and if people liked it. Um, but I got a lot of messages in like the Discord server, on Twitter, on Marshmallow, on email of people being like, hey, that was like such a really, really good stream. Keep it up. Um, yeah, that was awesome. That was so cool. Thank you guys. I was, yeah, I was really feeling nervous about that stream because I, I, I didn't feel like I was at my best on that stream and I was really bummed out about it because so many people came together and make that stream possible. And also it's like a viewer event stream. So you guys were there. You guys like took time out of your day to be there. So I felt bad. I was like, oh, I really hope this isn't a blunder, but you guys really loved it, which is awesome. Um, and the whole team that put that event together, we're really excited to do more events in the future. Uh, I don't know if you guys guessed it, but that event stream was like super, super last minute. I think we arranged the entire thing within like five days. Um, so we're all really excited for future streams because they're only going to get higher in quality from here. Oh, Mew EX, let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, so they're only going to get bigger, bigger and better from here. That was like a, a practice stream. Um, so now we know what we're capable of. I think our streams in the future are only gonna get better and I'm really excited for that. Buddy! Hello, buddy cat. I don't find anything about posting game picks for Discord, but I'd be able to post my Minecraft builds there. Yeah, go for it guys, go for it. I seen like a couple of people in general chat be like, oh, we don't have like a media channel. And I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. I hate when Discord servers have like split up channels for like, Post text in here, post videos in here, post photos in here. I don't get it. It's like, why? What's the point? This is not how casual conversation happens. Post your post your photos literally wherever you want. Well, within reason, with, within reason. Um, you can put them in the general channel. I do read every single message that happens on that Discord. I just don't really reply to them too often because uh, I get nervous. Um, but yeah, I read everything that goes in the server, so don't worry about, like, anything getting buried and not being seen by me. I do read everything. Usually before bed, I, like, scroll through everything. There are times that you guys- there was one stream where you guys sent, like, 500 messages when I was live. So it was really nice going to bed that night and, like, being able to scroll through everything before bed. <laughs> I really, like- I don't know who it is. Um, but someone is, like, remaking all the scenes for my debut video in Minecraft. Like, they're making my forest house, and they're making the interrogation room, and they're making the stars and everything it is so cute i'm saving all of these photos by the way i'm saving all of them whenever you guys do something cute i save it to a folder on my computer that's called motivation uh that's a little dirty secret for you guys 
<laughs> Which of your genmates would you marry, date, cook, or business with? Hold on, there's four here. Marry, date, cook, and business. Ooh. 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 I would business with Renona because she's smart. Mm, no. Scarlet. Mm, mm. I I would I would marry Renona. I would business Scarlet. I would cook Stella. And I would date Ariel. But you're not allowed to tell Renona because we're married and that would be an affair. Yeah. Okay, yeah. B business with Scarlet, because I think she can make some really good, like, uh, decisions when it comes to marketing and stuff. Marry Renona, because she is a wolf and I hate people and I only like animals. So I marry Renona. I date Ariel behind Renona's back for a spark of drama in my life. And then I cook Estella, but I, I put her in, like, one of those, like, forever stews that you, like, you cook for months and months on end. I, like, just keep chopping her up into little bits and put her in the, put her in the soup. That's what I do. Who's your favorite gym leader in Pokemon? Um... Oh, yay! Holo card. Favorite gym leader. Mmm. Mmm. So, the anime is gonna affect my opinion in this a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna give you guys the heads up because the... The gym leaders in the anime are, like, a lot different to their, like, game counterparts. Um... But before we continue, does... Do the Elite Four members count as gym leaders? For the sake of me answering this question, I'm also going to say that, you, uh, like, Elite Four members count. Um, but for, like, gym leaders specifically, I think my fa Oh, Shiny Dolive! Nice. Um, I think my favorite gym leader is uh, Erica, because I really like the TCG card that I have of her. It's really pretty. And I think she was really, really funny in the anime. I really liked her arc with uh, Cacnea. Um, I thought she was really chill, really funny, but she had like a sass to her. Um, and I also really liked Marlene in the anime. I think Marlene was really, really funny. Um, I am a big fan of the Pokemon Horizons anime. And uh, I think... Oh, crud. What's her name? Rika, Rika. I think Rika, the ground type elite, uh, the ground type elite four, and also like a business lady of the elite four. I think she's really, really cool. They recently like revealed her voice actor on Twitter and it fits her perfectly. So I'm really excited for that episode to come out. Um, but like my favorite, favorite out of like gym leaders and elite four and all that is actually Karen. It's Karen, the dark type gym leader from gen two. And I have such a specific reason for this. I have such a specific reason. So, there is this manga, right? I don't even think it's an official manga. Um, I think it's called, like, Champions Tournament. Hold on. What's it called? Uh, Pokemon Manga Champion... Festival of Champions! It's called Pokemon Festival of Champions. Um, I think it might be a fan work. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's like semi-official, semi-fan work. Um, and it's basically a tournament style manga that goes through into like a lot of... That basically goes into the gym leaders and the elite for from like all different generations. I think like up until elite. The... Up until like Gen 5 maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, and they had a really, really, really interesting uh, chapter on Karen as a character. Um, because, of course, she is a background character, and we don't get to have a lot of information on her as a character in Arcana material. But we do get, like, some bits and pieces, right? We, we get some bits and pieces. Um, and Festival of Champions, like, takes those tiny little chunks of, like, in-game in, in lore and, like, makes really fleshed-out characters from them. Um, and she, she is in that, and her arc in Festival of Champions is incredible. Um, it really plays into her whole personality of, like, so, so Dark-type Pokemon, Dark-type Pokemon are, like, really kind of taboo, um, because, uh, in the Jap Japanese translation of the Dark-type, they are known as the evil type, 
Um, there are like no like super official dark type gym leaders, and if they are, even the way that they act, you're like relatively taboo because when you're a gym leader, you are like a cornerstone of society, and you can't really be a cornerstone of society and have evil Pokemon. Uh, but Karen's whole thing is, as a dark type trainer or as an evil type trainer, she sees the good in these Pokemon and her whole motivation is to become a champion with a team of dark type Pokemon so that people can see the personalities of these Pokemon for what they are and not be scared of them because they're evil type. Um, and she has some like really raw lines. It takes a lot of inspiration for like some of her only canon dialogue, um, which I think is the very famous line that it is like, there is no such thing as strong Pokemon or weak Pokemon. Good trainers try to win with their favorites. Uh, which is raw as hell. It's raw as hell and I love her. Um, and I think the reason that really resonates with me is a lot of my favorite Pokemon suck. Uh, like some of my favorite Pokemon are like Furret and Hoppip and Meganium. And I'm gonna be honest, I love these Pokemon, but they suck so bad. But I was telling you guys before in like debut 2.0, um, they rock. If you know, if you love these Pokemon a lot and you know how to use them, you know how to work around them, you can, you can win. You can win. Um, it just takes a little bit of extra love and care. Um, so yeah, I really like, I really like her character for, for that little detail. That little detail. Yeah. Oh god, what the hell? Hold on. Oh, this is a big one. This is a biggin. This is a biggie, biggie, biggin. Hold on, let me... Sorry, chat. Goodbye. You're over here. Let me open a pack. Meggie. Fampy. Lantern. Paulucha Shiny. I love that shiny. I caught that shiny. Serilege. I, I don't vibe with Serilege. I really don't. I don't like humanoid Pokemon. Um, okay. Hi, foodie. Here are some of my marriage related to art. Okay. Firstly, what are some art advice that you can give to fellow artists? Lastly, what's the hardest art project you've ever worked on while using an art software like Fire Alpaca? Thank you so much for reading this tomorrow. Free for shit. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending it in. I love free content from you guys. Um, okay. So what is some art advice that you can give to fellow artists? Um... So I I am an art school dropout. That is a fun fact about me. Pidgeot EX. We, this is the second Pidgeot EX we've gotten. Oh, and it's shiny. Nice. Um, so I am I am an art school dropout. And uh, one of the biggest things that made me struggle so much in art school was uh, like perfectionism. Shiny or choreo slaps. Um, I had like an I had an obsession with everything being perfect, and to this day I still kind of do have issues with perfectionism. Um, like if there's something that I'm working on and I'm really struggling on it, or I am like struggling to meet the deadline or whatever, and people offer to help me, uh, I'll I'll turn the help down because I have like really bad anxiety of like stuff not being good enough unless I'm the one doing it. Um, so I have, like, a, a lot of bad, like, perfectionism issues. I hate doing something if I don't think it's perfect. Um, like, if I have, like, homes, uh, homework to do, I, if I've done it and I don't think it's good enough, I will just refuse to hand it in. I would rather get in trouble for not doing my homework than hand in homework that sucks, you know? Um, so my, my biggest, like, number one advice to artists is, like, your art is gonna suck sometimes, and that's okay, just keep going. Like, if you draw something in your notebook that sucks, don't, don't scribble it out. Like, just, just keep, just keep going. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it, just keep, just draw over it. Just draw over it. <laughs> like, I mess up all the time. And I just, I just say, whatever, I don't care. Most people aren't even artists. They can't even tell when you you do a funk. Um, yeah, that's my advice. Is don't don't be a perfectionist. Uh, being a perfectionist is what stopped me from doing art for like three years. Like I got massive burnout from art school, and then I just didn't draw for years and years. I just I did nothing. I keep all of the art that I've drawn since like 2013 on my PC, um, and there is just like a blackout of where I didn't draw anything for a couple of years because I got such big art school burnout. Um, so yeah, don't don't worry too much about perfectionism. Uh, and I think a lot of artists will say the same thing. It's like just don't just don't worry about it. Do, do as Bob Ross does. Happy little accidents. Um, but if we're talking like actual technical art advice, um, my number one advice would be look more than you draw. Like your process of drawing something 
should be 90% drawing and 10 no 90% looking and 10% drawing. If you should if you're drawing a horse, you need to be looking at your reference image of a horse more than you're actually drawing it. It's it, it god this sounds weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's just you looking looking is so important. If you need to use a reference, use a reference. Like I see a lot of like deviant art esque drama of people being like, oh, ref referencing art isn't real art or whatever. No, no, dude, reference. Just go on Pinterest, find something you like, and then just put your own spin on it. Just reference. Reference a lot. Do a lot of referencing. Um, and really, really look at what you're drawing. Because, like, okay, I designed my. I designed Foodie. I know exactly what Foodie looks like, but I will still miss out details or do something slightly different or weird or out of place. Even though I know what she looks like on the back of my hand. Um, but if I look at a reference of her, my drawing, and not just like the actual drawing, but the technique and the overall quality will go up. Same thing goes like, I know, I know exactly what my dog looks like. I can draw my dog and it's going to look okay. But if I really stop and I study her, I'm going to start notice noticing details that I never really noticed before. Um, also never complete a drawing in one day. Well, if you're gonna do like a doodle or whatever, finish that or whatever. But if you're like working on a, like an oil painting, well, no, that's a bad example. If you're like working on a big drawing that you want to be like really impressive, don't finish it one in one day. Like never try and finish something in one day. Like get halfway through it and then just like play Minecraft or play like a match of league and then get back to it and then stop and then go to bed and then finish it tomorrow. It's always gonna look it's always gonna look worse when you wake up in the morning, but then you're gonna be able to fix what's wrong with it. Um for like in-person art, like like painting and stuff, uh pastels are your best friend. I hate like doing art with pastels, but I love sketching with pastels. Uh sketch with pastels. Also, thicken your paint. Uh I don't know, like put like cornstarch in it or just get like acrylic paint thickener. It really helps. It's so worth it. You can make your own if you like look up a tutorial. Um um, sometimes it's cheaper to go to the store and buy one of those canvas decorations that have like, like stock images printed on them instead of just buying an actual canvas, just buy those. Or just like, just buy a roll of linen from like a fabric store and then just paint on the linen. It's, it's so much easier. <laughs> it's, it's so handy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, don't overfocus on the details as well. That is, like, a, a difficult thing that I had to learn is to, like, stop zooming in and focusing on every single tiny detail. Um, because, like, 90% of the time, people who look at your art aren't going to be zooming into the tiniest of details. And on most websites, especially when it comes to, like, digital art, um, your art is only going to be shown at, like, a very, like, let me get this image. Like, so when you, when you paint an image, it's, like, really, really big on your screen. But when someone looks at it as like a thumbnail, it might only be that big. And the details that you spend hours and hours and hours like working on are just gonna get lost when you like zoom in too much. So whenever I'm doing art, or even if I'm like making like a graphic thing for Twitter or a thumbnail, I always try to have my canvas like actually zoomed out relatively far away whilst I'm doing like my base col colors and my thumbnail sketching and stuff so that I know that it looks good whilst it's far away. And then you can work on building your details, but you, you need to make sure that it can be seen from far away. And values is good. Make sure there's lots of darkness and make sure there's lots of lightness so that you can see the values. Because, I don't know, people are blind like me, so values helps. <laughs> Um, what is the hardest art project you've ever had to work on while using art software like Fire Alpaca? Um, Fire Alpaca. Hardest project. Um, I think animation, I guess. Fire Alpaca does have like an animation feature, but it isn't exactly like super designed for animation. So doing that is tricky, but you're gonna have a hard time Pardon me, shiny sable eye. Uh, trying to get a program to do something that it wasn't designed to do anyway. Hardest project. Uh, pff, probably, probably commissions are always really hard. Because when I'm drawing for myself, it's like, whatever. I can scribble, scribble everywhere and it doesn't matter. Uh, but when I'm doing a commission for someone, it has to be like a, a semblance of being good. So that could be tricky. I just saw that Kadabra card. I'm so happy that Kadabra's back. Um, but I'm trying to think of, like, what was the most technically difficult. My my mind is 
kind of shiny dotler is kind of pulling a blank. I guess my debut lore video, um, that was all drawn in Fire Alpaca. It was colored in Clip Studio, but it was all like drawn in Fire Alpaca. I guess that was pretty difficult, but not in the way that it was difficult and like it was really hard to do. It just took so long. And I guess like waking up and just working on the same thing over and over and over and over again, Mew EX for like days and days on end, it becomes difficult like mentally because I get bored of things, Gola, Golem EX like very easily. Very quickly, uh, like I really struggled to keep my concentration. So it was really difficult in that regard. But again, I don't think it was like technically difficult. Um, I don't know. I like when things are easy. So I, I'm a, I'm a bad noodle. I don't push myself out of my comfort zone all that often because I'm a baby. I don't like it when things are hard. Caterpie. Oh, that's so cute. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't have a good enough answer for you. I feel like I want to be able to have a really good answer for this, but I just don't. Mew, G. Oh my god, I hate Gino hacking Mew, my enemy. This Caterpie card is so cute. I really hope they start doing like art poster collections that are just like the illustration rare cards. That'd be really cute. And then I think it's like, yeah, Golem EX and Shiny Dollar. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just do not care. <laughs> I am drawing an image of HMS Hood. I have no idea who that is. I have a drawing of Ash Ketchum that I drew when I was like a toddler that I still have. Oh, big. I have to find it, it'll be funny. Uh, have you ever played Cassette Beasts? It's Pokemon like, and it's very good. I haven't played Cassette Beasts, um, but I've seen like a lot of clips of it from Twitter. Um, I know like the, it's like the main character like becomes the Cassette Beast. Like they don't capture the Cassette Beast and like summon them to battle, you have to like turn into them using like a mobile phone kind of thing. Um, I think the designs are really cool. Um, I watched like a Loxin and Noggin video, like talking about the designs and names and stuff. And I did like a couple of the designs, but none of them like really stood out to me in like a, like a, oh, I, I have to play this game kind of way. Um, I have heard some of the music though. I do like the music. I don't know if I would stream it. Um, I would have to like, I'd have to like sit down and maybe like watch a couple more clips from it, but I'm like, I'm very, I'm very picky with my games <laughs> because I know I get bored so easy. I have to make sure that I'm going to play a game that I, I know that I'm going to, I don't like the idea of picking up a game, starting it and then not finishing it. Um, so I want to make sure it's something that I'm going to enjoy hundred uh, percent. Can we expect difficulty ROM hacks of older games uh, like Gen 2 and Gen 5? Uh, will there be any Nuzlocks? Yes. Yes. Um, there's not gonna be a Nuzlocke anytime super, super soon, because I really want to focus on doing, like, a casual playthrough of Scarlet and Violet and, like, beating the game in a relatively quick fashion so that we can get to the end game and we can focus on shiny hunting, because shiny hunting is what I, I really want to focus on. Shiny hunting is a big passion. Um, I do prefer shiny hunting over Nuzlocke as well. So we're probably not gonna do like too many Nuzlocke, but we can definitely use them in the future. Um, and I would like to play some difficulty games. I think I mentioned like uh, like Emerald Kaizo and stuff on the Pokemon Cry stream. Regular game or DLC? Yes, DLC included. I have asked my manager if they can buy me um, the DLC and they're gonna do that, so yeah. Uh, do you like Cobblemon and Pixelmon? I do really like Cobblemon and Pixelmon. Um, again, I don't know if I'm gonna stream it because uh, I love them. But I, I, I don't know if they would be good for streaming is the thing. We might maybe make like a community server one day. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but as of right now, there's like no plans. Hello, hi, Lua. Oh my gosh, hi, Ruka. Cobble, yeah, Cobble on. I love the tiny detail Pikachu V of... Um, um, I like the detail on Cobblemon where you can have like, um, different color Pokeballs. I think that is so cool. That is so interesting. And I wish that was like a part of the core game. Like, I, I just want to have like a cool green Pokeball or a yellow Pokeball without having it to be like a pattern, like a Safari ball or whatever. I really like that detail. I wish that was canon. Are you going to do Sword and Shield Dynamax Adventure? Uh, yeah, sure. We can definitely do that. It might be like, uh, like a full... Ooh, Arbor Rouge! Nice! Oh, that card's expensive, isn't it? I think I've seen people selling that on Facebook for a lot of money. Um, yeah, so we... I'd probably do like a full playthrough of Sword and Shield first, and then we do like Dynamax Adventures at the end of that. Oops. 
Um, but yeah, something I definitely want to do for sure. I want to I want to play a lot of Pokemon games. I love the Nintendo Switch. I am a Nintendi. I love it. Morning, everyone. Good good 9 p.m. <laughs> BK night. Ooh, Dragonite EX. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's hot. Kind of related to the Pokemon TCG. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh made full art. Yeah! I was talking to Nova like quite a while ago and I was like sending her some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that were like fan recreations. Like they were fan made Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I was like, oh my God, this card is so cool. And she's like, oh, I wish it's real. It's fan made. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, we don't have like, like full art cards or anything. Uh, she was telling me that like the cards get like reprinted a lot. So you can't really have like age rarity, uh, I guess, unless you're going for the original print date. Um, I think she says that like, um, like rarity with Yu-Gi-Oh cards or like discontinued cards or error cards, I think. I don't know, it was a while since we had that conversation. Kirby streams, yes or no? I would like to play Kirby one day. I have never played a Kirby game in my life. Um, I was talking yesterday how, because I'm going to be doing a lot of Minecraft and Pokemon stuff, um, we're probably going to lean a lot into Nintendo Switch games. So I think Kirby will be really fun because I've never played Kirby before. I'm a complete Kirby noob. I'm, that's a lie. That's a lie. I went to a convention one. Are you, why are you not submitting? Whatever. Um, yeah, I've never played a Kirby card before. Wait, actually. a bit good. There we go. I almost threw this one out because I thought it was broken. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, yes, yeah, so I've never played a Kirby game before and I think it'd be really fun to play one for the first time uh, because I think people find that really funny. Um, but I do tell a I was at a convention once and a guy had like a Kirby game on his DS and you could be like a bunch of different colored Kirbys and you had to fight each other and you could be like a knight Kirby and a mage Kirby. But I thought it was really boring, so I I don't I don't know. I definitely won't play that one again. Um, but like Kirby and the Forgotten Land, I think the one where he can become like a refrigerator and a car, I think that one looks really funny. So maybe we'll do that. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna do a lot of Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switchers, rise up! Prepare your friend codes. We might be doing Mario Kart next Friday or Sunday. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. We might be doing Mario Kart soon. Favorite non-ferret animal? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. See, I'm assuming you mean like non-mustelid animal because I wanted to be really smug and say otters because otters aren't ferrets, but I'm assuming with this question you mean like non-mustelid animal, um, which would be... Uh, I really like tigers. I really like tigers and leopards and they're really cool. Uh, I like dogs. I am a dog person. Uh, I like birds. I like kestrels. I think kestrels are really cool. I like rabbits. I like, I like all crittery looking guys. I like shrews and voles and mice and hamsters. Um... I feel like I could like foxes more. I think foxes are popular, but they're like not huge for me. I could like foxes more, but I don't think I will. Sorry. Um, ooh, ooh, I'd have to like look at a photo of animals to remind myself. Cats are really not high up on this list. I love warrior cats, but I don't like, I'm not crazy on IRL cats. I think it's because I'm a little bit scared of IRL cats. Um, I'm allergic to them, so I can't touch them. And I have like, I have a phobia of cats, uh, but I get really, really scared when cats come near me. I think because I didn't grow up with cats um, and there are a lot of feral cats that where I live. So most of my cat encounters in my whole life have resulted in me being scratched and bitten. So I'm a little bit scared of cats, but I have recently been hanging out with like my friend's cats and stuff and they're really chill. Uh, one of them purred on me once and it, it was a magical experience. So maybe, maybe there is room for me to become a cat person in the future. Oh my God, what am I talking about? It's shrimps, it's literally shrimps. Okay, yeah, my ranking of animals is gonna go mustelids, shrimps, and then tigers. I think tigers are really cool. Tigers are awesome. Tigers are very cute. I like tigers. How much do you like Lanoon? I Again, I'm not crazy on Lanoon. I really like Zigzagoon, but Lanoon is mid to me. It's really mid to me. I prefer like the Galarian Lanoon, but even then it's still like mid-ish. How many of you do you? Oh my God, hi. Hi, Hill. Um, I don't know. 
I'm not counting. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not counting at this point. I'm really not. I'm really not. Next up, next up. Your favorite cut of underwear. I think I, I talked about this on the on the uh, the game show. <laughs> First of all, you're insane, you're crazy, you're a pervert. Uh, second of all, I exclusively wear boys' underwear from the Tesco's kids section because they have Minecraft and Pokemon on them. So all of my underwear is like size 13 boys' boxers that have like Pikachu and Minecraft creepers on them. If you're a video game character, what kind of game would you be in and what would your move set be like? I would... Oh, this card is badass. I've never seen this card before. Oh, ooh, that's hot. That's cool. I would be... Hmm. I... Oh, Paris! Oh, wait, this is one of the puzzle piece cards where you, like, make an image when you put them all together. I would be in, like, an open-world adventure game like Skyrim or Fallout or Breath of the Wild. And I would be an NPC that you find living in a shack surrounded by animals and dirt. Um, and you have to do... Oh, cute. You have to do increasingly obscure fetch quests for me. Uh, like, collect me 10,000 twigs. And then I give you, I give you like a, a, like a rare sword or something. Yeah, I, I would, yeah, I, I would be like a weird, weird druid hermit that lives in the wilderness and you have to do a bunch of fetch quests for me. That is, that is who I would be in a video game. Uh, my moveset, my moveset would be, I pick up a really, really big rock and I beat you over the head with it and I kill you instantly. I'm like, I'm those characters in the video games that you aren't designed to kill, like Kecleon in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So if you try to aggro me, I just one hit, one hit kill, uh, kill you. Yeah. Cause I'm stronger than you and my, I'm really, I'm really powerful. I'm OP. What do we get? We got squirrel of it. I don't care. Sorry, what? Nom nom. Nom 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 incisors. Free, free the developers who work on this game. Let them go home. Let them go home. These are cute. I've never seen this car before, so it's very pretty. Uh, love this ditto. <laughs> and then this Barris, I love this card. So this card is like a part of a collection with a bunch of different cards. I think there's like nine of them and you put them all next to each other and it makes like a really big picture. It's super, super, super cute. Tiger comes with all that. I love tigers. Yeah, tigers are really cute. I'm a big, big, big tiger lady. I think tigers are cool. Yorkshire pudding or black pudding? Which do you prefer? This matters. There was a war over this. It is Yorkshire pudding, 100%. Um, however, I only like really, really crunchy Yorkshire puddings. I don't like greasy ones because sometimes, sometimes you make them and like the oil kind of pools into the bottom of the cup and that is yucky. I don't like that. So I like them really, really crunchy. Uh, I don't like black pudding. Yeah, sorry. Yorkshire puddings win. Sorry. Tachi is our boss. Yes. Tachi, Tachi isn't here today. I only have my business associate with me. Tachi is off doing business. I don't really know what he was doing. Uh, he just kind of like started packing a bag and put some sunglasses on. And he was like... And I was like, where the where are you going? He's like... And I was like, whatever, dude. Get out of here. I'm going to lock the door behind you. And I'm not going to let you back in when you come home. And he's like... Something, something about like numbers or whatever. I don't know. Something about a guy that hits. I God, I have no idea. He gets up some some weird stuff on the weekends. I imagine this is probably just an excuse for him to go horse racing again. However, if I see like my bank account go into the negative uh, this evening, I mean I know exactly where he was. <laughs> Uh, what are your rules on pinging you in Discord? Assuming that it's for good reason and not during a stream. Um, so I have that server muted. I do check in there regularly. Like I said, I, I read them before I go to bed. Um, so pinging is not going to like har harass me personally. Um, but I would definitely encourage you to keep it to a download because I don't want it to be a thing that catches on. Um, if you have something that you absolutely, absolutely have need me to know right away, which I don't know what that situation would be, but if there is, you can ping me and let me know. 
Um, and if I am not responding, you can ping Dragon Foxy, or you can ping Lobo Neck, or you can ping Rukami, that are the mods in the server that you've probably seen hanging around. You can ping them and be like, this thing has happened. Footy needs to be made aware imme- Oh, Bill's transfer. Uh, Footy needs to be made aware immediately, and they can probably, like, DM me directly. Oh! Oh, can we get the Bulbasaur and complete the set? We got the- Oh, we got the Ivysaur and the Venusaur. That's good. I want these cards in person! Urgh. Uh, and they could, like, come in and let me know in, like, the stream if there's something that immediately needs to be let known. Um, but I can't really think of an occasion where you guys would need to ping me. I'm like, I'm trying to rack my head for a reason. Um, but yeah, I have, like, I know how- I have no hatred against it. I have no hard boundaries, but definitely do keep it on, like, the down low. Don't make it a habit. <laughs> Don't make it a habit. I don't I don't want it to be anything that catches on. This is nice. Any DM rules. So currently I have it so that people cannot DM me unless I have added them as a friend. Um and I probably will oh, the exact same thing again. Um I probably won't be accepting every friend quest that comes my way. However, um if you do Oh! Oh! Baby! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I I would have so much money if I pulled this in person right now. I hate that I hate that this is digital. Jake, that's awesome. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Wait, where is it? This Venusaur! This Venusaur is beautiful. Look at this Venusaur. God, I want this card in person. I love the starter illustration mirror set. It's so cute. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my god, I would have so much money! Now you have- Yeah, the game keeps giving me Charizard cards! It keeps giving me Charizard cards and Charizard supporter cards. Stop it, I'm not playing Charizard. I hate Charizard. Um, but yeah. If you need to DM me, but I haven't accepted your friend request and you need to get into contact with me for any reason, um, my email is publicly available. My email is on, uh, it's on my pinned tweet, uh, on Twitter. And it is also in my YouTube information, so you can email me very easily. But if you, again, you do need to DM me something, um, again, you can ping some of the moderators in the Discord server and be like, Hey, by the way, I have a message that needs to get to Footy. Can I DM you, Mr. or Mrs. Moderator? And they'll either say yeah, or they'll either say no if your vibes are awful. Um, but if I do expect you, expect, if I do accept you as a friend, that means I have essentially given you consent to send me whatever the hell it is that you want at any time of day. So there's no rule there. I know what I'm getting into when I accept people, so there's not really any rules regarding to that. What is this? Is this a simulator? This is the real, this is the actual official Pokemon Live game. So right now we are redeeming code cards. Uh, so you get, like, physical code cards in every pack that you buy, and you can redeem them online. It's so cool. From the Matrix. Yeah. So you got- this is awesome. This is so good. Oh. Oh, it's so good. We peak here. I just end the stream here. It doesn't get better than this. It does not get better than this. Uh, thoughts on gacha games, specifically streaming them? Ooh. So the only gacha game that I really play outside of this, which I'm streaming this right now, is like Ensemble Stars. And I don't want to stream Ensemble Stars because I don't want to... Again, when I concentrate on games, I get really quiet and I, it doesn't make for good content. And also, I don't think that is like copyright okay because it's, it's a, a rhythm game. So I don't know what the streaming rules for Ensemble Stars is. Um, so I probably wouldn't stream it. I'm trying to think like other gacha games. When you say gacha games, are you thinking of like, like Genshin Impact and stuff? I've never played Genshin Impact. I would love to try it one day, but again, that is like kind of like Renona's ballpark. So I'd have to ask her if that is okay. Um, but it's like not, it's not on my to-do list. I don't have plans for it. It may or may not happen one day. I don't know. Um, but it isn't something that I've like actively planned towards. Take some water. Happy elements are freaky about copyright stuff. Yeah. I guess maybe if we ever do like a, um, I know members only. I don't know. I, eh, I don't know. I, I just don't think it would be a good thing to stream. Same with things like Project Sekai, Love Live, Uma Musume. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I like the characters. I like, 
I like the franchises. But I think the gameplay is lacking in a lot of departments. I just don't think it would make for a fun game. If I wanted to stream a rhythm game, I would stream Muse Dash. You can co-op on Genshin? Can you? That changes my opinion on that, actually. Uh, yeah, I'll ask for Nona if she wants to do like co-op on Genshin one day. Um, but Genshin is a big download, and I don't have PC space for it right now. <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I probably wouldn't play, mostly because I don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And also, that is Nova's uh, territory. Uh, Nikki, Nike, I still not play it. Probably, I also wouldn't play just because it doesn't interest me. I, may, I might play Arknights. I really like tower defense style games, so maybe I'll play Arknights. I don't know. <laughs> In current Genshin event, you get to pet cats. I'm sold. I'm sold. Um, how long have you been making content for, and when did you start? Oh, why did you start? It really depends on what we are outlining. I can hardly tell that's shiny. I think the hollow effect that the, the game puts on there makes the shinies hard to differentiate, like with Pidgeotto. Um, depends on what we, like, designate as content. Because I was talking yesterday about how I got started making, like, stop-motion videos with, like, Pokemon figurines and Littlest Pet Shop figurines and stuff like that. Um, so uh, if, if, we, if we mark that as content, then I've been doing it ever since I was, like, I don't know such a bad shiny like say like six seven years old um but it depends if we like define that as content and i don't know if we do i want to i want to say we do because i think that's a, a cute origin story uh because i i would make like i would record my pokemon figurines like moving around and i'd like try and make makeshift green screens by getting a piece of paper and coloring it in with green marker is that shiny God, these shinies suck. Why do you make a card game? Ooh, I take it back. That's awesome. But like, why would you make a card game about shiny Pokemon or like a set about shiny Pokemon and then only include Pokemon with butt shinies? Why would you do this? Um, yeah, so I, I want to mark that as like my first content because I, I would do Let's Plays. Uh, my cousin. Oh, it looks just like my dog. Oh, look at that chunky thing. I love it. Um, yeah, because my cousin, she was older than me, and she had a mobile phone, and we would record ourselves, like, fighting each other on Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, and stuff like that. Shampoo! Oh, I love this card! I love Shampoo! I want so many Shampoo cards. Um, so, I don't know if they ever got posted on the internet. I don't know. Um, and then in college, I made some stop-motion video thingy me diggies as well, and I did some, like, TikTok stuff in college, like, art tutorial and stuff. Uh, but nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Uh, so yeah, I guess, I guess I'll mark that as my content stuff. And why did I start? Mm. I think when I was a kid, I started because that was like... I don't know, that's what we saw when we went onto YouTube. We got recommended like a bunch of Littlest Pet Shop stop motion videos. So we were like, oh my god, that's so cool, let's do that. Um, but then for like, as streaming as a whole, I told the story before, it was like during the Panini... And I was watching a Tommy Init stream. I'm sorry, I'm a Zoomer. Let me be a cringe, cringe Zoomer. <laughs> it's my charm point, okay? Uh, I was watching a Tommy Init stream. And so he he was on, like, Twitch. Um, and I don't know if it's the same, but, like, back then on Twitch, you, you couldn't, like, pause a stream the way that you can pause a YouTube stream. Um, and he, he was streaming, and I was having so much fun watching him. And then he had to, like, get up and go get a snack. And because you couldn't pause the stream, that was like the only time that I could also leave the stream and go to the bathroom and get a snack. Um, and the mad scramble of him like leaving the streams and then me having to like, and then me like racing him to get back to the stream before he started it reminded me of like back in the olden days when you couldn't pause the television. And whenever it'd be the commercial break, everyone would like mad scramble to the bathroom, like put the kettle on and make snacks and stuff. It reminded me of that feeling. And I, I guess it was a very nostalgic and special feeling. And I think that was like my main moment where I was like, oh crud, I can do this. I want to do this. Um, and then like VTubing specifically, I saw, I was aware of Hololive and I never really thought anything of it. It's like, oh yeah, this is just a thing that Hololive does. This is just Hololive. And then I went on TikTok and I saw, I discovered indie VTubers for the first time. I was like, what the hell? You mean I can just do that? I can just do that? I can do that. I could do that. And then I did it. And now I'm here. And now you feel inclined to give me lots of money so that I can become rich and do even more cool things like throwing Tachi off a building. <laughs> the super, the Zimmer brain rod is terminal. It is. 
I like to go fast. Zoom, zoom. You give me the vibe that you used to make warrior cat transformation potion videos on YouTube? Listen, I used to have a shoe box and I painted the inside green and blue to like look like a forest and I would like make trees out of paper and cardboard and I would like play with my warrior cat figurines in there and I'd record it. So they're not like warrior cat potion transformations, but there definitely was, and like a lot of my stuff was like toy related, I guess like toy stop motion, which is really funny when you think of like all the stuff that I do with Tachi now. Where is he? Oh my God, Tachi, he came back from horse racing. Oh my God, Tachi, where's our money? Where is our money, Tachi? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 um, so like a lot of, I guess the, the stuff that I was making back then was like related with toys and it's really funny seeing where I am now, uh, where like having the Tachi plushie is such a big part of the brand. <laughs> so I guess, I guess, I guess we went full circle. I guess we just went full circle. Don't cheer for him. Don't cheer for him. He's spending all of my hard earned money on horse bets. Stop it. He's spending it all on Uma Musume pulling. I think what really intrigues me about the Elite boxes is the promos. Yeah, the promos are really nice. I was kind of disappointed with the Paldean Fate uh, promo card. Again, it's like Paldean Fates is a set all about shiny Pokemon. So why did like half or like more than half of the Pokemon that they chose, including the mascot for Paldean Fates are all like Pokemon that don't have really interesting shinies. Like, come on, really? Oh. Wait, is that the end? No, that wasn't the end. Hold on, where is my, where did, where was I just at? Oh, it's over here. A friend tail. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it, guys? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Am I gonna embarrass myself in 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 front of my mom who watches these videos now? Am I gonna do it? Fitty fitty fitty, swaps swaps fish and bread in his blood. It is me. Fitty 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 fitty. latency lower so I don't die when I have to do this. Actually, no, I think this that's a part of the charm. I think it's a part of the charm. You guys are so well trained. Look at you. You guys are so well trained. Oh my God. It's going to be really embarrassing if I go to like a convention one day and they give me a stage spotlight, but none of my, like none of you guys actually show up. So I do that whole bit and, and, and no one, no one complies. I'd be very embarrassing. Tell us to start typing. I didn't, I know, you guys, you guys gotta start typing from the second that I go food it it That, you guys, you, that's on you guys. That is on you guys. It would be a funny clip. I would pass away. I would, pa I would graduate and I would move countries and I would change my name and everything. I'd be so embarrassed. Anyway, you guys, are you guys, are you guys free in August at all? Are you guys free in August for any reason at all? Maybe like mid-August. Do any of you guys like live in, in the UK and are free in August and are like are like convention attendees that like maybe you wanna go to Oh! Oh I love Adamant! Adamant's like one of my favorite video game characters. Oh, he's so good. Yeah, and you guys like living in the UK and like free in August, like go to conventions, maybe wanna go to like a local convention in the UK and maybe and maybe you wanna go to the UK's first VTuber convention. Uh, in Birmingham, ew. Uh, but yeah, maybe you guys are interested in going to the first VTuber convention, um, um, in the UK in August. I don't know. I don't know. Like, may maybe you guys are interested in that. I don't know. But I can't say for sure what I mean by this. I cannot reveal my machinations! I cannot reveal my machinations! But yeah, you should totally, you should totally, totally book out your calendars for, for August. I know I was literally born a week ago today. Oh my god, I was born a week ago today, guys. I am officially one week old. I am officially a week old. <laughs> it's my my week anniversary. Dude, like what do I do for my week anniversary? Do I post a cover? <laughs> Evil wish. I'm glad that you guys I like the people like my my grandma voice. Uh yeah, I didn't expect to get dragged into an impromptu collab last night. Um pardon me. After after the stream um, we raided into Miel from Globy, who was like voice acting Danganronpa with Vance. And Miel was like, oh my god, oh my god, footy, let me add you on Discord and you can, you can voice act with us. 
So I stayed up to like 2, 2.30 a.m. voice acting Danganronpa. <laughs> but I can only do the grandma voice. So all of the characters that I voice acted became grandmas. What is the con cult? I, I cannot reveal that information until it becomes public information. I cannot, I cannot tell you yet. I don't think. I don't think I'm allowed to tell you. But there will be context clues on Twitter. If you go and look. If you go and look on Twitter right now at my Twitter page, there might be context clues. But I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything. I would have to check with my manager. Because I don't know if they're going to do like a like a reveal or what. I, do, I don't know. I've, I've never done this before. I don't know. I... I am one week old. I'm one week old. I don't know anything. So yeah, I have no idea. I have... Yeah, yeah. Just wait. Just wait and see. I'll tell you guys what I know. <laughs> uh, what is your stance on pudding? Especially more on common flavors, like beside vanilla and chocolate. Pistachio berry. Mm. Pudding. What are we defining as pudding? Because in the UK, anything that is pudding, anything, like all desserts are pudding. Like in the UK, pudding just means dessert. But I'm gonna assume that you mean things like flan and like chocolate mousse and stuff like that. Um, I don't like flan, but I like flan flavored things. I really like those like flan flavored Pikachu cookies. Those are really nice. Um, does jelly count as a pudding? Does jelly count? Because if jelly counts as a pudding, I really like lychee jelly cups. The kind that you can buy in like a giant, giant like jug. It has like, like 200 mini lychee jelly cups in there. I like that. That's really nice. Um, I, God, I, don't, I don't know what we define as pudding in this scenario. Um, but yeah, I like flan flavored things, so don't, but I don't particularly like flan itself. Um. Mm. Oh, Leafy on Vsar! I love this card. I love Leafy on. Um. I don't know. I don't think I've eaten many puddings to be honest. Oh, that was oh that was Young Goose. Young Goose is me. I have this card. Yippee! Um. I don't know. I don't think I've eaten enough pudding to really know what I like or not. My final answer is gonna be lychee jelly, it's good. How old do you have to be to go, how old do you have to be to join the convention? Um, I don't, ooh, that's pretty. I don't know, I don't know. From experience, I know that a lot of conventions in the UK are 18 plus, not because there's raunchy stuff happening or anything like that, but because conventions in the UK due to our smaller population compared to America, um, they tend to have you know, small, like a smaller amount of attendees and a smaller budget. And because of that, they don't, you have to get like a really specific convention license when you run a convention. Um, and you have to pay like an extra insurance license thingy when you allow minors at a convention. So because of that, I know a lot of conventions in the UK are 18 only exclusively because they just don't have the funds to pay to pay for that like child insurance policy thing. Um, but again, I'm thinking back, I'm like, this is like a policy from like 10 years ago. I don't know if this is still the case. Um, so I know a lot of the conventions that you will find in the UK do tend to be 18 plus. I don't know if that is the case for the conventions specifically that I will be attending. Um, I know like Comic Cons, uh, you can be any age to go to a Comic Con, I'm pretty sure. Cause I've seen little kids at like Comic Con uh like like midland comic-con and stuff like that um i don't know about this one specific uh convention i would have to check their website but i don't know from the top of my head another samurai card this is badass but why is there a snow runt why is there a snow runt i don't understand <laughs> Uh, v Expo, V Expo that you're totally not attending is 16 plus with no parents. Okay. So I'm totally not attending V Expo, but if I was attending V Expo, um, you would have to be 
over the age of 16 to attend with no parental supervision. But if you have parental supervision, you can be any age, I think. I won't be able to, okay, uh, we, guys, we're not gonna talk about our real ages in the chat. Um, I believe that is a rule in my description. I might have to edit it to make it a little bit more obvious. But if you can, please do not reveal any personal information about yourself, um, your age, where you live, or anything like that. Uh, just for like safety reasons on the internet, uh, please do not talk about your age. Thank you. Hint, hint, wink, 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 wink. I am kidding. I'm not actually 11. Oh my god. You liar. You lie to me. Have you ever played Rain World? I have not ever played Rain World. However, I like, I, I don't even know what kind of game Rain World is. I've like heard people say the name, but I've never seen a clip of the game. I don't know what it's about. I know nothing about the game. The only thing I know about Rain World is they have these cute little things called like slug cats, I think. They're like these little like sea slug looking cat guys. Um, and they're very cute. I see a lot of people on Twitter drawing them, but I know nothing about Rain World. I have no idea what it is. I just know about the little, the little cat guys. I think they're cute. Yeah, that's like, that's the only thing I've seen about Rain World. <laughs> uh, can we expect modded Minecraft or vanilla Minecraft or a mix of both? Definitely a mix of both. Um, I'm going to be focusing on vanilla Minecraft mostly. Um, mm, well, when I say vanilla Minecraft, I mean, like, very, very, very lightly modded vanilla. So I'm gonna have plugins, texture packs, and probably, like, a couple custom mods that me and my team have made ourselves. Um, including, like, the Tachi mod that is still in production. Um, so we'll be working on, like, a couple of mods, but not things that are gonna change the game entirely. Um, very, very minor, very minor mods, like quality of life plugins and stuff like that, but nothing outright like RL Craft or anything like that, or Cobblemon. Um, we can definitely do like, um, like one-off streams that are modded, but that won't be the main focus. We'll definitely do events, like maybe we'll do like a modded server event or something like that that is on RL Craft or Cobblemon or whatever. Um, we, we can do that, but it's not going to be the main focus. So I'll, uh, the answer to that would be, we're going to do like very lightly, very, very lightly modded vanilla, mostly just with like the help of plugins. And then on the off rare chance we might do modded, but it's not going to be like the main focus, mostly because I just don't like modded Minecraft. Another one! I just don't like modded Minecraft. I don't know why. I don't know. It's like, I don't hate it, but I would, if I had the choice, I would just rather play vanilla. Or I would rather play vanilla with like a couple of minor tweaks, such as like a plugin that allows me to teleport to my chest when I die. Like, like very minor, minor stuff. Scarlet just said, and I quote, in the context of Red Bulls, she drinks these daily. No, what? Oh my way, she's streaming the Red Bull thing right now. I really want to. I really want to raid Scarlet if she's if she's doing that at the end of this. Hold on, let me. <laughs> is she streaming that right now? Oh my god, she is streaming it right. I, uh, I really can't believe that she's actually doing this. I, I like. I was not expecting this to be a stream that she does. <laughs> Because she's like, yeah, yeah, I've never had, I've never had a Red Bull before. Like, like, it's, it's just all the stuff that I'm into. I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Really? Never in your life? Not even like at the bar? She's like, no. So when I saw this, I'm like, especially on week one, I was like, girl, no way. No way. <laughs> You're gonna die. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll wrap up like relatively quickly just so we can raid into Scarlet. <laughs> I feel like as like the Red Bull connoisseur who's trying to get a Red Bull sponsorship, I need to be involved in this somehow. Um, a food or a dish that you want to try in the future? Uh, I really, really, really want to try Korean barbecue. I almost tried Korean barbecue, uh, like, earlier last year, but they're so expensive. I didn't realize how expensive it was, and I was gonna split it between, like, me and three friends, and we still couldn't afford it. <laughs> so, we still ate at, like, the Korean restaurant, but we went for, like, the set menu instead. It had, like, a teriyaki salmon dish that was mwah, really nice. Uh, but I'd really like to try Korean barbecue in the future. Maybe if, like, I think if me and the girls all meet up, we can have Korean barbecue together. How many marshmallows have you gone through uh, already? This is number 25 out of 30, so maybe we can wrap up soon. Yuri the action, yes or no? 
Uh, Stella said it best. I love it when girls hold hands. I love it when girls kiss. I love it when girls hug. I love it when girls hang out with each other. I, I, I love, I, I love, and they were roommates. I love it. I love to see, I love to see love. I'm not a, I'm not a hater. I'm not a full-time hater, no matter what you'd think. I love Yuri. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I have to admit, I am more, I am more of a Fujo in this situation, but I don't think anyone truly hates Yuri. If you hate Yuri, then you are not pure of heart. Uh, is your sleep schedule okay? No. No, it's not. It used to be really... It used to be okay. Oh my god, hi, Estella. Estella, do you want to do Yuri with me? Do you want to do Yuri with me? Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. I technically... Technically, we already do Yuri because whenever I DM Estella, I send her a gif of anime characters like making out with each other. So technically, we, we already do Yuri. We're like... We're like e-discord Yuriers. <laughs> um... Wait, what was the question? Oh, it's my sleep schedule, okay. Um, no. It, my sleep schedule used to be relatively okay in like the run-up to debut, but because I stream until like 10, 11 p.m.-ish, and then like streaming duties don't end when you click end stream. Again, the same card again. Like streaming duties don't end when you click end stream. There's so much that you have to do afterwards, and it's like, a super effective critical hit on your sleep schedule if you also have to do like a meeting after your stream. Um, no, Scarlet's ending! No! I wanted to raid her so bad! <laughs> no, she's ending! Come back! Oh, wait, no, she's back. She's back. I think she was joking. I think she was joking. Okay, I think she was joking. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um,. Yeah, it used to be good, but then, like, debut week has been super, super, super busy because there's been a lot of things that I've have to, like, that I've had to do, uh, like, behind the scenes. Uh, one of them, the, one of the big things was the Okami Kinu video that I worked on because I've never, I've never video edited a music video before. That was, like, a completely new thing for me, so it was very difficult and it was also very, very time-consuming. Um, so a lot of my days was, like, okay do my debut prep, and then Fukureta, and then meeting, and then Okami Kinu. And then, I was like, there was no break. But now that that video is done, and I'm like catching up on a lot of the stuff that I have to do, I'm still behind in a lot of the stuff that I have to do because I was working on the video. Um, but now that that's done, I can like focus on my chores a little bit better, and I'm gonna have more free time until the next project. <laughs> Which, from the south of it, maybe, maybe you won't be far away. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get my sleep schedule to be a little bit better. Um, my, I, as, as long as I can get to, if I, I think as long as I can aim towards, in the next couple of weeks, getting back into the habit of going to bed at, like, midnight, it's like 12, 30, 1 a.m. instead of, like, 3, 4, 5 a.m. that it's been for the last couple of nights or so, I should be good. Um, and then once I've gotten to the habit of going to bed earlier, I can start waking up a little bit earlier as well. Um, cause, yeah, I was telling you guys yesterday, I'm, I am a night person, I think biologically, but I would love to be, I would love to be a morning person. I would love to be a morning person so, so much, because whenever I wake up in the morning, I have way more energy than usual. I get so much more done, I'm so much more productive, I'm so much happier, I get to see the sun for more hours. So, I think, like, once all, like, the big debut crunch stuff, uh, counts down a little bit, which is just, which is just natural for, like, every, every VTuber in, like, debut period. This isn't, like, a me unique thing. It just happens with everyone because it's such a busy time. Uh, and it's just so much going on behind the scenes that you, you could, you, it is beyond your comprehension. <laughs> Um, oh my god, I'm gonna end perfectly on exactly 10 cards, but this doesn't include the ones that have been emailed to me. Um, so yeah, things are gonna, like, once once the debut hype is, uh, like, calm down a little bit, um, I'm gonna have more time to breathe and sleep. <laughs> I've, I've never worked so hard and slept so little in my whole, whole life. <laughs> but it's good, I... No burps, no burps. I, I, I'm a border collie. If I do not have a task to do, I simply pass away. I love being busy. I love being busy. Uh, but I would also like more time to go to bed. <laughs> and I like more time to eat food and shower. That'd be cool. 
<laughs> Which is why, like, so much of the stuff for stream setup is, like, super, super last minute. Like, I didn't set up my webcam until, like, five minutes before the stream. Then we had scuff because of that. Then I just had so much to do all the time. But I'm loving it. I am loving it. I do like being busy. Oh, God. Getting hyper in the morning, getting on the zoomies, and then not being able to do that on stream. Oh, that's a good point. That is a good point. If I start waking up really early... I don't know. I oh god for ex nice. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be changing my stream streaming slot thing. Like that's not gonna change. I have like very. I have done so much math and I've picked the slime uh, time slot so specifically for it to be as accessible and friendly towards American, Asian, and European time zones. It is like as friendly as I'm able to get it. Of course, that doesn't mean that it is friendly for every single time zone, but I've done my best to put it in that middle. Um, and I'm really dedicated to keeping this time slot um, because I just think it works out the best. Cause like I was saying yesterday, uh, my ideal time slot would actually be like 12 in the afternoon, my time. But doing that, a lot of people in America will be asleep. And then a lot of people in the UK will either be at work or in school. Um, and I, I want to be as accessible for a lot of people. I know that people can... I know people can watch the VODs, of course. But... I mean, we're all stream watchers here. We know that, that being here in person is like... It, it, it's it's the charm. It's it's like the whole point we do this, right? It's to be able to talk to people and hang out and get that social intro. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, baby! I want to get one of these cards in real life. I want to get one of these cards in person so much because they're they have like raised foil edges, like they're tactile. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. <sighs> I want to touch it so bad. I want to get the Shan Pao of this so bad. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've chosen this time slot very deliberately. Uh, I know it is awkward for some people, um, but I promise you it is the best that I could do. <laughs> it is the- I just said I wanted a shampoo card and I got two in a row. That's awesome. It is the, the best that I could have done. <laughs> Grind never stops. It doesn't. I'm so excited to never rest and never play League again. You know, this is actually a very elaborate ploy to make me never play League of Legends again. It won. It won. Let's see those cards. First of all, oh, this Guard of War. I think I have the Curlia for this IRL, but I have the Guard of War. It's very pretty. I remember people were crazy for that when they first came. Oh, this is so... Yeah, you can kind of, like, see the detail that they've put on the, um... The... On the raised edges there. Oh. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. If we see you streaming LOL, we know. <laughs> I, I am not going to be streaming Legion League. <laughs> I'm not going to be streaming League of Legends. But maybe, maybe we, if we, we might do a member stream League. Only if you guys promise that we don't lose. It would be like t team fight with viewer. But you guys have to promise me that we don't lose the game. Because if we lose the game, I'm gonna be so upset. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go insano style. Okay. Let me check my emails, everyone. Let me check my email. My email. Let me check my email. You guys stop sending me memes when I'm live, so I'm gonna giggle on it. I'm gonna giggle. Uh, email, email, email. I hope you keep winning the fight of not playing in <laughs> League. I mean, that's the goal, right? Is I stay busy enough to... Oh my god, that's a lot of code cards. Holy crud. Okay. Valis, thank you so much for writing out... This is... Oh my god. Oh my god. That's over 150 codes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... First of all, let me... Can I copy and paste? Can I copy paste? I can copy paste. Oh, and they all work. They all just work. Some of those about... Okay, let me try one of the older ones and see... Let me try... Let me try the Mega Latios collection. Let me see if that works. I think that's probably the oldest one here. And if that works... If that works... Oh my god, you're kidding me it works? You're kidding me that works? No! Shut up! 
Shut up, you're kidding me. How long have you kept these for? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, another one! Another! Hold on. Elite X, X and Y Series 8 Elite Trainer Mewtwo Xbox. You're kidding, Valis? Valis. How? What? Huh? How have you just held on to these? How? How have you just held on to these? You're insane. He's cracked. Legends of Hoenn Kyogre? Say psych right now. Say psych right now. I need, Val, I need you to know you could have sold these to like a card store for like real money. I don't, it's not letting me click in here. Why not? Hello? Why don't you let me click? Legends of Ho- I know! That's like 10,000 million years ago! Why don't let me click in here? Let me click. Oh, oh. oh my god, you're kidding. I'm ki- Oh! Oh! What? He's insane. He is insane and he's cracked. What? 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 Phantom Forces X and Y. Shut up. Shut up right now. Well, let me click in the box. Shut up right now. This is, this is surreal. This is not the real life. This is the fantasy. Oh! 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 The Pokemon Hollow! Please! Regigal, take it! Oh, I remember these old... Oh, these old color background. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Primal Flash! I feel so old! I feel so elderly! Look at the... Oh, look at the cover! Oh! Oh! This... Fairy type! Fairy type! Oh my god! Dude! I forgot about fairy... <gasps> look at that hollow! <laughs> look at that hollow print! Oh my god, I'd kill to have these in person! Oh, oh, oh my god. X and Y breakthrough. You're kidding me. You have, you have breakthrough. The, you have breakthrough codes. No shot. Are we going to get a break card? No shot. Are we going to get a break card right now? There's a lot of these. Hold on. Okay. There's so many cards here that I, I worry about going for too long. Because I, I want to catch Scarlet. I really want to catch Scarlet's Red Bull screen. But... We're, we're gonna go through the X and Y uh, break series, I think, because if we get a break card, that's insane and you're cracked. That's insane and you're just- ah! Where's the rest? Thank you, see, thank you, thank you for the sound. <laughs> I heard it, I heard it this time, so it means it worked. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the, for the CC that I had. Oh my god. This is insane. Are we gonna get the- Oh. Is there gonna be perfectly 10 of these as well? Breakthrough, yeah, those are like the golden cards that are like on their side. So that they're like, uh, like, like landscape, um, like landscape orientation. Uh, and they're like, they look like they're made out of like molten gold and they're like, they got like really harsh black shading on them. It's very dramatic and very cool. Okay, there's two more codes. Let's see. Please, let's see if we got... Yeah, it definitely woke me up. I'm awake now. God damn. And I can't believe... God, I can't believe it works. Look at that. Look at that. Me... Oh, look at the bag. Oh, the background color. Oh, look at the old dragon type color. Oh, man. Oh, I miss this hollow pattern so bad. I d I'm really fond of the Scarlet and Violet, like, cobblestone... Hollow pattern, but that is good. Chespin. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, the Haxorus. Come on, give me a break. Literally. Passage. 
It's to be poor. No one cares. No one cares about the monkeys. This swine up very cute. Zora very cute. Floatstone. Right. I have this card. I have this holo promo card. Oh man, Smeargle. They changed the way the cards look. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. Oh, Spirit Link. God, I even forgot about the Spirit Link cards. Empoleon, it looks so... Ugh, it looks so good. My tooth still hurts from when it broke. And, like, I get really excited. And, oh, this card is so cute. I get really excited. And I, I clench my teeth and it's hurting my teeth. <laughs> Come on, give us, give, it, give us the gold card. Oh, no! Oh, it's a fairy hollow. Look at that pattern. I I really do like how they've gone through the effort of these really, really old packets that people really shouldn't even be redeeming anymore. Um, but they, they've made it work. They've they've made these like holographic designs for everything. Oh you're kidding me. Shut up! Shut shut up! Oh, I wanna say, I wanna say so many curse words. Oh, Oh my god, okay, we need to speed through these so we can we can get us Oh Granville fairies up! I love Granville! I have flourishes! I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, oh Flo baby! I'm dweebing out. I'm dweebing. Oh I'm gonna dweeb! Oh my god, my god, my god. What the You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Let me see them. This is insane. <gasps> no. Look at that. Can I can I price check? Can I price check how much this runs for these days? Um I think this is the is this the alternate? It's this one. Uh, it's secret rare. Breakthrough secret rare. Okay, eBay. How much is someone selling the secret rare for? Oh, okay. Not as much as I thought. I'm seeing like 45, 65, 50, 65 again. 66, 72. Uh, PSA 8, 167. Uh, PSA 85, 270. Oh, oh, 659. PSA gem mint. Oh, oh, God. And then what was this? Mega Mewtwo EX. Uh, Mega Mewtwo Y? Uh, I'm, o I'm only using eBay for these. I'm not using Price Checker. Mega Mewtwo E X Y. How much are you going for? How much are you going for? Um, sixty nine, fifty five. Mm, not many people selling this one actually. Not many people selling this at all. Seventy. 30! Oh, but with damages. Uh, 79. 70. Oh, man. 100. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. What I would... If I could make these cards real and materialize in my hand, God, it'd be over. It'd be over. I would just quit the game. I would just quit. i just quit. And I would go live my rich lady dream somewhere out in the mountaintops. This is incredible. It... Okay, two, two more, two more XY, two more XY breakthroughs. Can we get the gold cards? Can we get the gold cards? But I, Mega, Mega's fine. Mega's fine. EX is fine. I don't care. Oh, knocked out. It's okay. I like knocked out. I'm a Gen 2 lover. I'm happy with this. <gasps> I do have. <laughs> I love it here. I love it here. I'm I'm having a great time. I love it here. I am having so much fun. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna throw up. 
I am going to throw up. I'm going to throw up all over myself in excitement. This, this is so many cards. Um, this is like another hour's worth of cards. Um, so, Valis, I think we, if it is okay with you, uh, I think I might, I'm gonna star this email, actually, and I might save this for the next time that we do a TCG stream. I'll, I'm gonna make a note. I'm gonna make a note of which ones I have redeemed. Um, cause there's so many. There's so many. There, like, has to be a hundred of just, like, Scarlet and Violet 151, let alone all, like, the premium collections. Scarlet and Violet, Obsidian Flames, Paldea Evolved, Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Vivid Voltage, Lost Origin, Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, Crown Zenith, Evolving Skies, Roaring Skies, Furious Fists, Shining Fates. God damn! God damn! Yeah, I'll go through this and I will make sure. God, God, woo! Woo! Woo hoo 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 hoo! <laughs> um, uh, favorite warrior cat character slash series. My favorite warrior cat series is the original series because I'm a loser. I am also very fan, uh, very much a fan of the ultimate guide mini stories. I think they add a lot of flavor. Um, but outside of that, mm, I used to really like Dawn of the Clans, but now that I am older and I've gone through character development, I have decided that I do not actually like Dawn of the Clans. It's not good. Uh, Starless Clan has been pretty fun. I think the new writing team has, I think, done a really, really good job on Starless Clan. Uh, but I would say my favorite, my favorite series is the original series. Um, if super editions count, my favorite super edition is Cro Crooked Stars Promise. Uh, my favorite characters are Swift Paw, Crooked Star, Black Star, Erm, Erm, Erm. Yeah, Long Tail. I like Long Tail. Uh, yeah, Long Tail, Swift Paw, Black Star, Crooked Star. Erm, I like Brackenfur. I think Brackenfur is funny. I wish he was leader instead of Brambleclaw. Uh, like black and fur, and I, dust pelt is growing on me, but I don't know if they wrote him out yet. I I really don't keep up with the new series as much, so I don't know who is there anymore. <laughs> I think Brightheart is still alive. I like Brightheart. Um, I think Frostball. From what I've seen, Frostball is pretty funny. The character. Uh, and I like Nightheart being edgy. That's funny. Uh, were you ever a Moshi Monster slash Animal Jam player with a bunch of web games? Yes, I was. I wasn't much of an Animal Jam player. Um, I would log on to Animal Jam exclusively to play the tower defense game with, like, the bugs. Like, there was, like, a bunch of, like, ants and you have to, like... You had to, like, squash the ants with, like, uh, like, Venus flytraps and stuff. I'd log on to Animal Jam exclusively to play that minigame and then roleplay Warrior Cats with people. Um, I was more of a Moshi Monsters and Club Penguin kid. I was more into Club Penguin than I was into Moshi Monsters. But I got into, like, I got a, I got a really high level in Moshi Monsters. I had so many puff, pufflings, puffling, moshlings, I think. I had so many moshlings and I spent most of my time playing the proxy Moshi Monsters website where it just sent you to like the like Viz games and you just played like unlicensed mini games but on the Moshi Monsters browser. Uh, my favorite mini games were the Viking game where there are a bunch of Vikings trapped in ice and you had to cut them and they would fall into the Viking boat. Uh, yeah, I was a big Moshi Monsters, uh, Katsuma for life. I would make warrior cat Katsumas and I'd give them warrior cat names. Final, final question! Do you plan on attending conventions, e.g. WeebCon or TwitchCon? Please keep in mind that you can also attend virtually. Um, I am super interested in attending conventions that are local to me. Uh, I live in the UK and my ability to travel is nerfed. I can only really take public transportation. Um, so I am limited on what conventions I can go to. If they are in the UK and if I'm able to access them, so like not in like Edinburgh, I can't really get to Edinburgh very easily. Um, but if they're, if they're in like mid England, uh, or Wales, I can get to them very, very easily. Um, so I can, I, yeah, if, if they're in the UK, I would like to attend them. 
Uh, but for conventions outside of the UK, like TwitchCon Europe, or uh, I don't know where WeebCon is, something like Anime Expo and Ofkai Expo, I don't know because that would be, that would require me to book a flight and hotels and be abroad. And there's like so much money that is involved in doing that. Uh, so maybe not so much abroad conventions. Um, however, to any convention people out there, if you guys give me, if you guys like pay for me to go to your convention, I will go to your convention and I will shill it like nothing I've ever shilled before. I'm very easily persuaded by money. So if you want me to be at your convention, just give me like free ticket and free travel and free accommodation. And I will be your number one PR person. I will, I will do so much free PR for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I want to go to a lot of conventions. I have a lot of fun at conventions. I do love conventions. Uh, money is just like an issue and so is like travel. So if I, if I can go, if I am able to go, I will go. It is just a matter of what I am able to go to. That is, that is it. That is, that is my, my issue. That's my issue. I'm not scanning browser co codes anymore, so I guess I could put my model on the screen, but that would require me opening up VTube Studio. And also being a GIF is fun because again, I can close my eyes and pretend to be asleep and no one has any idea. <laughs> but that is all the Pokemon cards because we've been going for two and a half hours. I want to go to bed early. We are out of marshmallows. And also I really, really, I really want to raid Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet, I want, I want, I want, I want to see what she thinks about Red Bulls. And also, I am the Red Bull professional. Red Bull, please sponsor me. I will shill you again like I've never shilled anything before. Uh, so I feel like I have to be involved in this. Yes, thank you. So we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for everyone who emailed me Pokemon cards. Um, I believe I do have another email from Pokey Chaos who has sent me uh, some Pokemon redeems as well as Magic the Gat. Ooh. I might... I might check out Magic the Gathering exclusively for that. Um, I have starred both of your emails. I've pinned both your emails and I will compile these lists for the next time that we do this. Feed lover, are you a Filipino? I'm sorry, I'm screenshotting that because that is the funniest sentence I think I've ever seen anyone come into a stream and have be like their first sentence ever. Thank you so much, that's hilarious. Never change, never change, feet lover. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna end it here. So today is a Sunday. Uh, it's a Sunday, in it? Uh, today is a Sunday, and I uh, meetings up there. I was like, no streams scheduled for like, or like, no waiting rooms up for the rest of the week. And I really wanted to like have my schedule done so I could show you guys and we can talk about next week's schedule. But I haven't done it yet. I didn't do it yet. I can take like a screenshot of my work in progress, but all you're gonna see is like stream title, stream title, stream title. Um, so. I can tell you for a fact, I'm not going to be streaming on Monday um, because I'm going to be doing some recording for a secret thing. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to be streaming on Monday. Um, and then that's all I really know. On Sunday, we might be streaming like a viewer joinable Mario Kart. So if you guys have a Nintendo Switch and you have access to Mario Kart, make sure that your online subscription has been renewed and your Nintendo Switch is like all charged up and everything like that. Because uh, we, we might be doing uh, Mario Kart on Sunday. I think it'll be really fun. Um, we're going to be playing lots of Minecraft and Pokemon this week. We're actually going to get to officially start our uh, like Pokemon world. And then on Saturday, I think we're going to have a Group V Reverie collab. I think we're going to be playing Lethal Company with the Guardians and Nova Senpai. Um, I don't think Salmon could make it because she's still feeling kind of under the weather. Uh, I'm not sure. I did not arrange this collab. I, the other girls did uh, because I'm really scared of horror games. And they're like, legal company. And I was like, no. So I haven't arranged it. The other girls just like sent me a date and was like, okay, you have to be here. And I'm like, okay, damn it. Um, I won't be streaming my POV of the collab. But because I'm also not streaming on Monday, we'll probably have like a, a short afternoon stream on the Saturday. Uh, yeah, the, the schedule will be out on Twitter, um, and in my community tab, like, before I go to bed. I'm gonna, like, finish the stream, and then I'll work on it. Uh, yeah, so just, like, keep, keep an eye out on, like, Twitter and stuff, and the schedule will be out. I'll probably post it maybe in the Discord as well. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Watch me open Pokemon cards. We're gonna raid into Scarlet, my beautiful gen mate and, and biological mother. 
Uh, she is trying every different flavor of Red Bull, and as I am the Red Bull professional, I think I should be there for that. Metal Bay, I am a baby! Stella, you can come raid with us. Uh, you guys are asking for a raid message, and I've noticed, like, the last couple of people that I've raided, you guys have been, like, spamming messages in the chat and even saying like like weasel raid um i don't know how do i how do i set up a raid message is that something that i have to set up or do you guys just like type it out yourself i don't know what i want my raid message to be but uh i think it'd be really cool if we all say like this and then maybe we put like green hearts on it hold on search emotes green uh, I think something like this would be really good, but if you guys want to have, like, a custom one for this stream specifically, something Red Bull related would be good. Like, I don't know, Weasel on Red Bull. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not a professional, guys. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, that's good. Hold on, let me, cop let me copy and paste my own message. <laughs> eh. The chat was too fast for me to copy and paste things. Stop it. Stop talking. Shut up. It won't let me copy paste. Whatever, I'll just type in you on. Okay, that's gonna be our raider message. Thank you guys very, very much for being here in my stream today. Thank you for sending me marshmallows and watching me open cards. And thank you everyone who sent me open cards. You guys are crazy. I didn't think there'd be so many. We'll definitely do another stream like this in the future because I think it's funny to do like a Zatsudan and like answering marshmallows while also doing something else. Uh, my marshmallow link is in my video description and my VOD description and everything. And it's in my YouTube information. So if you guys want to send me marshmallows, like literally whenever you want, please send me marshmallows because I we're going to do a lot of like Zatsu related stuff with them. So please give me more free content. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, you guys can see my model today. I'm sorry for the, the scuff. No, I think Scarlet's also ending. We have to beat her. Okay. Uh, uh, the most efficient. No, the smallest and most efficient predator on the planet is me. Buddy, 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 buddy. Yeah! Birdtail! Thank you guys, you're awesome. Okay, good night. Don't forget your raid message. We're gonna send you guys over to uh, Scarlet. Bye. Whoops, I forgot to start it. <laughs>